Yes, hello. Welcome back to Crafters TV. My name's George Aiken. Happy Sunday wherever you are in the world. Hey, you've got a great show coming up for you. It's a masterclass. My name's George, and for the next two hours, we have got a masterclass all about mixed media. Yes, it's a great show, and we want you involved in it. Uh, I know someone who is excited about this, ecstatic about this. Uh, she has, honestly, since yesterday, she's not stopped talking about it since I've seen her, and she's raring to go like a coiled spring Debbie Robinson, you are, honestly, you, what you were saying to me before the show. I you know. can't wait, can you? I cannot wait, because I just love getting a little bit inky and messy with things and creating things as well. Uh, so we've got loads of um, items on the show. We've also got some lovely products on the show as well. So I'm just going to show you a few samples of yes, those please. products. Um, because George is going to just going to recap everything that you're going to be uh, getting. <laughs> um, yeah, man, you're laughing there. Uh, but we've got beautiful embossing folders from a lovely DL size embossing folder George to a very dinky winky one which is the little four by six one uh, we've got our five by seven one on the shows and we've also got a great one in the uh, five and a half by five and a half very unusually sized mm. and I absolutely love um, embossing folders and having seen lovely uh, Andrew in the Colour Me Happy show uh, some of his techniques that he did I was like oh I could use some of those yeah um, but we've got some great products as well in terms of some florals that you could add to your projects um, so we've got some lovely florals on here with some lovely watercolours. And if you did catch that show with our lovely Andrew, it was all about the watercolour um, things today. We've got stencils on the show. Stencils that are slimline, stencils that are big, um, and stencils that you can just take little elements from off there as well. And I love a good stencil. Um, and with these big, larger stencils that we've got, you can be creating any kind of technique from, and I think I saw um, Andrew do a nice little uh, bubbly one with a spotty technique, which looked absolutely fabulous. This one's a really clever idea of using your art liners with your um, embossing and um, embossing through it too, which is what I'm going to do a little touch on. Uh, but what about things like your texture pastes? Um, you could be using any kind. That's just a normal uh, white texture paste to being allowed to dry and then run some inks over the top. So there's lots of things that you can do, not just card making, but home decor things as well. Um, honestly, George, there's a lot of things that you can do with them. I'm going to be in a mix of cards and a mix of home decor projects in this. Uh, I'm going to get... I'm going to get some nice, uh, a little bit inky. I got a little bit jealous when he did the Colour Me Happy show, I'm not going to lie. But we've got some fabulous products with uh, the Cosmic Shimmer range. We've got some pixie powders. Well, I say pixie powders, pixie sparkles that I'm looking forward to using. Uh, and we've got things like misters and stuff like that that are all on the show too. There's a lot of things on the show, isn't there, George? You can just head over to that website right now, shop and watch at the same time, and you'll see all the things that are on there that George is going to tell you a little bit more. Absolutely, Debbie's right. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk, don't EU, and you can shop the show option. Uh, loads of you get in touch, loads of you excited, just as excited as Debbie is. Sarah in Australia, hello again, Debbie and George, and everyone from Melbourne, Australia. Sarah, when do you sleep? When do you sleep? You're always awake. Uh, Bethan is saying good afternoon, Crafty Peeps. George Yan from Clearwater, Florida. Lynn from the wonderful uh, just say hello to everyone. Barbara, hello from sunny Indiana and good morning. From Terry from sunny and warming Kansas City. Uh, we've got some great deals for you on this show. Like Debbie said, uh, we're starting off with a 3D frame embossing for a 12-piece collection. A great price that you've seen here today. You're saving yourself 25%. Now remember, they are all available individually. But hey, guys, at that wonderful price, why would you want to go individual? When you can see that in great collection and that huge saving that you're getting there, what a great deal that is. Uh, talking of great deals as well, you also need to come and buy a platinum price on that £42.79, $56.76. Now these embossing frames are great because of the different sizes that they come in. They're coming in a range of different sizes, um, of causing with, of course, this A5 size. So you've got it here with the exquisite blooms, that wonderful A5 size embossing folder. Uh, you can, like I said, buy them individually. The details are on the bottom of your screen. Uh, but again, you're getting that A5. Then we're going over to the Ele Entangled Roses. Again, A6. So you've got a different size of your A5. Um, embossing folder four inches by six inches there on that 3d frame and when we talk about 3d frame well I'll let Derek explain a little bit more about that you've got the luscious lilies and the luscious lilies again this is your wonderful uh, 5.5 by 5.5 inch 3d frame embossing folder and then wrapping up this wonderful collection you have got of course the elegant flourish this tall slimline card again 
What a great size. And it's very rare you see embossing folders of different sizes. You're getting three of each style in the size uh, category there. Uh, so four different sizes. Again, this is the uh, swirling lace here for you. This is here in this wonderful A5 size. Again, another great collection and it's going to add into your card making. Again, not much has been done for this and I mean that in the sense that it's been run through your Gemini to use it on the swirling lace embossing folder and then what you've done is add a little bit of dye. You've already got yourself a great card. Uh, that's a swirling lace one. You've also as well got a classic lace there for you in that A6 size. You have got the uh, lovely lace and you've also got the uh, embellished lace there for you. You've also as well got the intricate filigree. You've got the elegant swirls. It's a huge collection. The fancy floral wreath. And to finish it off, the elegant frame trio. Uh, 12 brilliant embossing folders and they're 3D embossing folders. Don't forget as well, guys, it is the penultimate day of your 20% off on storage uh, until Monday. Uh, if you want to get organised, get yourself in that spring cleaning mode, uh, maybe treat yourself to some storage you've got until the end of tomorrow. Head to the website. Uh, what a great way, you know, imagine storing these in a great uh, way so you know where all your wonderful 3D embossing folders are. Uh, right, talking of uh, wonderful things, Debbie, when we say mixed media, what do we mean? And when we say 3D embossing folders, what do we mean by a 3D embossing folder? So I'll cover the 3D embossing folder first. Yep. So an embossing folder, as a standard, is um, it, well, it's a it's a it's a folder made of plastic, very strong plastic at that, um, that's got a sculpture in there, like a, a one level, a standard one, just one level of sculpture out, and it has what we call a, an array side and a, a recess side, which means that when the ray size pushes through the cardstock into that recess, it gives you that embossing detail. Really beautiful, absolutely fabulous, as a standard. But what we did here, and what we do really well at Crafters Companion, are our 3D versions. Now, our 3D ones are, they offer you um, something that little bit different, and I don't know if you can see it in a plastic toy, it's always difficult with these studio lights, especially on a glass mat, to be able to see it. Um, I wonder if a blank piece of card will show it through. Ooh, there oh, there we go, yeah. That shows it a bit better. So what you've got with a 3D embossing is multi-levels of that sculpture that, that, um, and recess side. So it's got like more than one layer in terms of a standard one layer, a 3D, multiple layers. So you've got like, and you'll be able to feel it. It's always the same whenever you're using any cultured cardstock or pattern cardstock, always look for the right raised side. You can feel it physically over with your fingers. So when you run it across, you'll be able to feel that one side goes in, so it like sculpts in, and if I talk it that way, you'll be able to see what I mean. Um, and then this one is raised, which means when you push it through the cardstock, it gives you that embossed detail, but a little bit more detail with a 3D embossing folder. So I love embossing folders for that reason. They turn, a tra they transform a piece of card stock into something quite uh, absolutely beautiful and mm -hmm. dimensional as well it gives you some dimension now I'm going to use a, a different few things here now mixed media everybody talks about mixed media being um, the th I mean I know Jan will, Jan will agree with me when I say that people think mixed media and they think straight away of uh, big portraits canvases and big pieces and with everything thrown on it getting all messy and got all mixed media just means you're mixing medias you're using multi different medias whether it be using um, like your, like inks with gilding waxes with uh, embossing powders um, you're, you're using medias different mediums and that's what mixed media means it's how you take it and how you start it in a journey because you can go into your texture pastes and you can go into adding um, things like I mean, anything, Jan will tell you, anything that like, you think of is a waste, she uses straws in hers. I love what she does with hers when she does mixed media. I remember Jan when she, she did as a beautiful, great big uh, put, um, canvas for the shop, absolutely stunning, and threw everything but the kitchen sink at it, and then painted over it, and it just looks absolutely fabulous. So you can go on to that level, but you can start very basic. And I'm gonna start with a really basic box. And I say a basic box, I was doing a little bit of prep while um, Andrew were busy working, they were getting a little bit inky. In fact, I've only just managed to scrub my hands clean, your dirt, truth be known. Um, but I've taken, um, you can buy these boxes, and I've, uh, the reason I've left it this side here is just to show you, it's just an MDF box. Now, last night, right. what did we have on the show? Don't know what's left. Storage? No. Oh, Dreamy, sorry. Dreamy, yeah, me, MDF, and that's what we did. This is what this is, it's an MDF box, uh, a little gift box. Um, and I've already started coating it with, um, and I've actually used some gesso. Now. I'm pretty sure the gesso, I'm going to get our producer Georgina to check this out, um, but I'm going to check just to make sure. If it's not on the show, it will be on the website. Go and have a little look. 
Was it on the Dreamy show yesterday, producer Georgina? Well, it'll still be there then, because um, I didn't know I'd seen it somewhere on one of polls. Uh, but yeah, absolutely fabulous. Now that is Black Gesso, and it's a great medium to cover, giving you a nice matte coverage. So I've just left a little bit of it, and a little bit, I got stuck, can you see? I quite, I, I quite like that though, it adds a little bit of uh, rustic to it. Um, but I'm just gonna show you, you simply use it. Now it does dry pretty quick, to be fair, I'm not gonna lie, um, but I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my brush. There we go. Oops, that's a bit of a dried up one. There we go, let's pop that on there. And we're gonna just coat and cover this. And then I'm gonna use me embossing folders. I'm gonna use gilding waxes. And I'm gonna use also some of the embossing powders that we've got on the show as yes, well. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so I just wanted to get this coat down though to give it a little bit of a head start just by simply um, getting a coat on and covering it up. And now there's lots of, I'm gonna call them cheap as chips because they are, um, MDF uh, things that you can find in all sorts of places, all sorts of craft stores. Um, but you can be using any kind of um, um, MDF for this. And it's just, all I'm going to do is you like, literally decorate the box. It's a nice little idea and it's a nice little gift box. I think it looks really nice. I think I might just go over there though, just on the outside, just while that's drying. Just give it a little touch up because I'm going to go over with some gilding wax as well. Uh, but I'm just going to let that dry for a second. Can you see it's still quite wet? It dries really matte, almost like a chalky finish, the gesso. Yeah. Uh, but it's a great one for, and whether you use black or white, it's a great one for um, applying down first before you start adding things to it. Or add things on and mm -hmm. then apply that over and then mm -hmm. add inks or uh, gilding waxes over the top. So there's uh, lots of ways that you can use it. Um, and it is a fabulous one to have. And it's not, do you know, it's not too overly pricey no. uh, for gesso. So go and check out uh, last night's show. You are going to get inky, I'm not going to lie, but I'm... Do you know what? I'm not bothered. It doesn't matter at all. So what I'm just going to do now is take some matte black cardstock and I'm just going to use, and the one that I'm using is the intricate filigree 3D embossing folder. Um, and I do like this one. It's got a lovely, a lovely um, filigree design to it. But again, any of those are fabulous and we've got them in all sorts of sizes. This is a five by seven one. Um, and I'm going to chop into this um, afterwards once I've, I've used this. But first things first, with the 3D embossing folder, and it's important to know this because it's a fabulous deal that we've got on the show for all of those 12 embossing folders. 12? That's amazing. 25% off? Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. But it's important to know the combination. So for a um, platform of a 3D embossing folder, it is not like a standard. A standard is your two clear cutting plates. But for a 3D, it's made of a thicker plastic, so it needs a shim or two removing and tweaking it a little bit. In your instruction booklet, it is in there, but um, all you're doing is popping your folder with your cardstock into the centre, and then I'm using the magnetic shim and then the other plastic shim that acts, sorry, the plastic shim that acts as the top plate. That's the combination for any of our 3D embossing folders in a Gemini, is all I'm going to say. Yeah. Now, any other machines out there, you'll need to check your instruction manual. Um, as I don't use any other machines, I'm, I can't sit here and tell you the combination for that. It wouldn't be fair of me to say that because I don't use them. Um, so, but for a Gemini, um, absolutely, um, that is the combination for your 3D embossing. Now, at the minute, you're probably thinking, can't really see much. Can't really see much. Can't, However, Debbie, I can't really see much. <laughs> However, um, if I try and anchor it, can you still see? It's, you know, it's ever so difficult to I, see. Oh. Um, but there is, I mean, I'm going to show you now because I'm going to bring it to life with gilding wax. No. Um, and I do love gilding wax. I unashamedly will tell you that I do use it a lot. Um, have we got a good deal on the um, gilding wax today, producer Georgina? It's, we are, as we speak, a great deal on gilding wax. You're buying four, you're getting one free. Here it comes for you. Now, the five great colours are Debbie Robinson, King Gold, yep. Antique Gold, yep. Renaissance Gold, yep. Empire Gold, and Silver. Yay. See, I've been learning. Yeah, uh, you're been buying learning. four, you get one for free. No one told them in my ear, I promise. £47.96, <laughs> $7.96. Uh, loads of you getting in touch. Um, Terry on the social say, I ordered texture paste, but haven't used it yet. I'm going to give it a try today after watching Debbie's inspiration. 
Texture paste is a great uh, it is. mixed media. Uh, I've, it? Got, I've got some texture paste. I know it's not on the show, but I've got some texture paste that I'm going to bring in with one of the stencils later on in the show. Um, because we've been, you know, we get these things, although they're not on the show today, you, you buy things and it's sometimes a bit refreshing just to have a little um, recap on how to use them or if you've never used them before. And bearing in mind, they might not be on the show, but they'll be on the website. Yes. So it's, it's always worth um, a little nod to them as well. Uh, plus it also works really beautifully with um, stencils too. So... First things first, though, I've just put down one colour on there. Uh, that one is the Empire Gold that I've used. And then I'm going to bring in... I like to mix mine. I don't know what Andrew's like. I mean, I was meant to ask him earlier if he uses uh, different ones because I do like to build up... Um, colours with these uh, embo uh, not embossing folders sorry with the gilding waxes just because I think it gives it a really lovely um, texture and a lovely look so I always always um, dab it some onto my finger and then dab the excess off until it almost goes dry um, and go over the top now there's no right or wrong way can I just tell you no right or wrong way when it comes to using gilding waxes um, I like to build up and mix the colours. Some people like to go on, i.e. Leanne, uh, likes to go on and get that beautiful solid colour on there. Uh, Jan's of the lighter touch and likes to build up the layers as well. Um, I know Sarah, I've seen Sarah in the past, she takes ink applicators and she puts it over with an ink applicator. You get a different look. I prefer the finger touch because I just think you you're in more control with your fingers than you are with an ink applicator. So um, literally, uh, just pop that on and again I'm going to just I'm going to mix it up with another colour on there so that one was the uh, king gold so I've got the empire gold and the king gold and then I'm going to go in with the um, um, <laughs> renaissance no antique thank you my favourite one antique don't know why I forgot <laughs> what it was uh, Sherry's gone they're great for makeovers the gilding wax yes um, outdated trinket boxes wall hangings just apply these over the existing design yeah absolutely do you know um, Pebio is a French company and um Get the gild the gilding well, sorry the gilding wax the gilding wax from um, Pebio yeah <laughs> Debbie's forgetting her words today um, literally was made for um, home deco pieces old yeah. furniture do you know things mm. like your picture frames and things like that do you know your legs on your um, on your chair and your set yeah, settees yeah. do you know the old fashioned ones I'm talking. Yeah, I'm getting a nod over there. God love him, because I'm like, you know the ones that I mean that have got legs on that you can de distress them and use the gilding waxes? That's what they were used for. They were just brought into the world of crafting a few years ago, and I love mine. I'm not going to lie. I just think they look absolutely fabulous when you get them on. I'm going to give a little bit of a touch up there in the centre as well. Just going to give it a little buff, though, um, and I, I always buff. give it a little a buff. Oh, I didn't a little rub. do this. Yeah, just a little rub. That's what you would do if you were using it on your own deco piece as yeah. well. That's exactly what you would do. You're just lifting off the excess, and it also adds a little bit of a shine to it as well. Could you uh, use the gilding wax for your dreamies? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Did you not see me last night doing that, George? Yeah, I was just... I was, you I was, slept since then, aren't you? I have, and I was just reminding our viewers who may not have watched last night's oh, show... Oh, smooth. ...who may want to require, remind themselves smooth. of that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Brownie points. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> Brownie points to George. Now, what I'm just going to do is lift it up a little bit so you can see um, what it does to your cardstock, especially when you see... And I'm going to tilt it there because that really does show off the 3D. Oh, From, yes. like, a lighter to a more deeper sculpture, going back down into a more fainter one. That's your first level, your second level, and then your third level. And that's the difference between 3D to uh, standard embossing folders. Now, the only difference I've done here, George, is I've already pre... Because I've, I've told you I've got my box already. Mm. Um, it's drying away um, because I'm going to use my box. Now, whenever you're decorating this, all I'd just say is take your measurements from whatever it is that you're using. I've already done a little bit of chopping up um, uh, into mine, and I've... Um, I'm going to place it to decorate oh, this box wow. and give it a nice little feature. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add and apply onto the back. Now, a couple of things that you can do. I just want you to remember when you are using 3D embossing folders, I want you to think about your glue that you're using. Right. Um, because um, even on the deboss side, I know it's a very difficult to see in the camera, but you need to make sure that you've got glue evenly spread all over there so that it encaptures into that emboss side so it means it gets a better grip with the stick. Right. Don't be just going over the top, expecting it to go in there. You'll you'll need it to go in uh, the grooves. Get into the grooves. I knew you were going to do that. It's always full of songs, he is. Always full of a song. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to give it a good coverage over the top, and then I'm going to get... 
been doing this a lot just the last few days. Uh, just get my finger in there into oh, those yeah. little uh, nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. And I want to cover it all over. If I sang a Bucks Fizz song, you'd love me for it. Oh, of course I would. Can really? you think of one? Yeah, Making Your Mind Up. That, come on, come on. That's that catalogue's bigger than Making Your Mind Up. That's just what put them on the map. <laughs> love me for a reason. Excuse me, that's the Osmonds. Oh, is it? Um, that's the Osmonds, completely different. <laughs> Uh, yeah, great, great, uh, yeah, all the great books for songs. Uh, <laughs> Terry's, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Terry's saying, my gilding waxes, I got a few orders ago, are still setting unopened on my shelf. I have oh. need to be brave and give them a go. They are beautiful, they really are. Yeah, and there's so many things that you can do with the embossing folders. Now, normally I would start off with a card, but I just thought, you know, it being a bit of a mixed media show, um, I'm going to try and show you different things that you can do with it um, and different, you know, different approaches to, uh, to your mixed media. So all I'm going to do, George, is I'm just going to carry on lining up on pieces. Now, I've used the embossing folder that I've just done, but I've just chopped it into, play, uh, into the pieces that yeah. measure the box. And that's all I'm doing with this, but transforming um, like a plain piece of MDF into something with a bit more dimension. Um, just proper excites me because I love doing this and it makes a lovely difference when you are um, using things like this. I like uh, in piece, a different way. Piece of the action by Books Fizz. You you getting some help now? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What about London Make Believe? That's a good one. Yep, yeah, you yeah. get you're definitely getting some help. Are they social team? Are they helping you out no, there? One of those uh, nights. Oh, uh, now we're talking. Heartstone. Yes, that. very good. Uh, run for your life. Yeah, now then, I'm a little bit suspicious. I'm a little bit suspicious. I don't even think all of our lovely viewers out there would know all of these, so I think you might be doing a little bit of an internet search there. No. Yes, you are. You've got all of them right up to now. What are you like? It's got to be love. It's got to be love. <laughs> uh, yes. Loving a world gone mad. Loving a world gone mad, yeah. Getting kind of lonely. Getting kind of lonely. How do you know this? That's an album track. How do you know Getting Kind of Lonely? That's an album track from their first album. My goodness, don't you. Don't stop. What's that? Don't stop. Yeah, you're definitely looking at their album. That's the first album. In fact, yeah. bit, that might be a B-side there. Yeah, Google. It's a great little, uh, <laughs> great little thing. There it is. And there's me thinking, you know, everything about books is, they've got a lot of songs to their and, and, and they are still recording 40 years on, let me tell you. 40 years on with new material. Do you remember Stock Aitken and Walkman? No. Stock Aitken and Walkman, you don't remember them? No. Oh, my mouth, my, my mouth did exactly the same, Andrew. My mouth did exactly the same. Flabbergasted. I'm 28. Come on. Everybody knows Stock it and Walk to Men. Everybody I knows three them. Three times, pennies dropped, yeah. Who are they? <laughs> Who are they? Oh, God. I'm, I'm ultra, ultra, ultra hey, short. I'm quite good at my Producers. Music. Oh, okay. That had a very massive uh, run in the 80s and 90s. With the likes of Banana Rama, okay, Jason well, Donovan, yeah, no, no, Kylie yeah. Minogue, yeah, no, Big no. Fun. Don't ask why I thought of that one. Uh, <laughs> all sorts of, of different artists. So yes, um, I know who they are. I just never heard of the producers. Stock Aitken, Pete Waterman. You've never oh, heard no, of Pete I know Waterman. Pete Waterman, yeah. So well, Books Fizz are now working with Mike Stock of said. Um, P -L P -W -L, uh, of the day uh, and now they're working with him and releasing new material is why I was going with that one. Are you on commission? No. You are a big Bucks Fist fan. I am a huge big Bucks Fist fan. I've, I've, always, Bucks I've Fist. always liked them with orange juice. Well of course, of course, they're uh, very, very nice drink. I've, I've, I've met some of them. Some I of them that you can't remember the names of? I did a Eurovision party and they were, came and I can't remember, well, because there is the odd one who comes with someone, so isn't there? If I'm standing corrected, I don't know. Like there's, it wasn't the full four of them. Yes. So yeah. There's, there's three. Of, there's them. three of them now. Yes. Three of the originals, and they're called the Fizz. The Fizz. Yes. Books Fizz is named. The the actual name is owned by one of the original members, Bobby G. There you go. Ah. Giving you a little trivia question here while I'm doing this. Now, this is already coming together. Yes. We're transforming this box. Uh, I'm just going to put a couple of little pieces on the inside because I do like my inside to look as nice as on Absolutely. the outside. Um, Charlotte's asking, I think I missed it. What kind of black card was that unboxed Matt's onto? black cardstock that is from our range. This is Matt's black cardstock. Um, there is nothing to stop you from doing this with uh, Centura Pearl. Mm. So do you know how lovely black Centura Pearl? Yeah. You mm. can use the Centura Pearl and you can use gilding waxes over. Right. You get a different look, a different feel, uh, a more shinier consistency, but it looks absolutely beautiful, George. So right. yeah, but this the one I'm using is the matte black 
card stock. Uh, Bethan saying this looks beautiful. Always struggle with how to use embossing folders. There's nothing to really, you know, you having a go with them, isn't it? Like, no, nice. and, and we're so used to doing things like, you'll see us regularly doing things like cards. This was one that we did in class. Jan did a class. Uh, she did it actually. She did um, um, in the store. She did a demonstration and she were thinking of ways to use with, um, you know, things that we sold in the shop. I love doing these because they make lovely boxes. Um, and I did a class on them, taking some inspiration from our lovely Jan, did a class on them. I had to run the class about four or five times because it was that popular. Everybody wanted to do it. And, and it was, again, it was just showing you the different ways that you can use things like uh, embossing folders with other things. Now, I just want to give it a little bit more of an age. So I'm going to bring in again the gilding waxes, George, mm -hmm. because um, it looks a little bit stark against the, um, you know, the black against the gold yeah. and, and the bronzes there. So I'm going to bring in again, I think I might go with the antique, and I'm just going to rub down the edges of the box. And it gives it a nice little um, aged feel to it, yeah. um, which is where I'm going with this one by using all of this. But again, it's just showing you all of the things that you can do with it. Um, and you could you could actually do this process before you actually put the you know your your, your panels on, and you could actually just distress that around the edges. Uh, but I'm just going to go on with it afterwards, uh, and I'm going to do it on the same on the inside because again it gives it just that lovely little bit of um, dimension, and it's using your mediums in a different way again. So again, I'm just going to go over all of the areas where I've painted just to distress it up, give it a little aged look. Yep. And it's a, a lovely little trinket box for someone. I've me, I may have said this a time before, but my family, especially my kids, what do you want for Christmas? Can I just have money, Mum? Well, money's okay, but I don't want to just give them money. Yeah. I want to give them something. So I usually think of different ways. And I remember one year, um, I made all of them a box, including my nieces, my mum, everybody that I gave money to. <laughs> Not that I would, like, just, just, you know, that's what they asked for. Um, but just give them something uh, to open up, and that's mm -hmm. what I did. I spent ages uh, doing my boxes up, and I did them in white, in gold, in, in Centura Pearl, so I know the Centura Pearl works really well because I've done that with before. Um, and like I said, it's just about getting, having a bit of fun, having a little bit of fun, have a little play. I'm not quite finished because I am going to add some other elements to it as well. Might give me a little bottom, a little bit of distressed look as well. Let's give it a little bit of a... Looks like it's a bit old and uh, yeah. Yeah, let's let's put a little bit just onto there. Break it up. And a will bit. this wax dry? Yeah, okay. absolutely, absolutely. And like I said, all I'm going to do again is just give it a little buff all the way around. Takes the excess off, um, but again, just makes a really nice little finish. Just going to look at me. I'm like a perfectionist here. <laughs> I'm like this at home. I don't know yeah. what anybody else is like, but sometimes it's no when to stand away Absolutely. from things. Evelyn's asking about the gesso. The gesso. Yes. How long does it take to dry? Gesso, uh, very, quick. very it's, quick. It's probably, I, pro I would say probably 10, 15 minutes dry. Right. Yeah, especially on MDF. Um, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very instant, quick drying um, medium and uh, fabulous to use. And especially, do you know, if you make mistakes and you want to cover back up, do you know when mm. Ailey was talking about it last night? You can go back over your gesso. So if you've made a mistake on top of your yeah. MDF, go back over your gesso, blank canvas again. So sure. it is a fabulous, fabulous uh, one to have. Just cut myself some little butterflies and I thought I'd just give them a little di a bit of a distressed look. rosalyn has got a question about gilding wax. Yes. Any suggestions on how to soften, soften gilding waxes that may have got a little bit hard? Uh, right, so um, I just pop it over. <laughs> I, think probably, I think Andrew knows where I'm going with this one. I just pop it over a radiator. <laughs> just, it's oil based. I want you to remember this is oil based. So there's no point adding water to it. It's not going to do anything. Right. It's an oil-based product. So some gilding waxes, um, there's some cosmic shimmer ones out there that are um, not oil-based. Um, and you can add a little bit of water, warm water to them just to soften them a little bit. But with a pebby or gilding wax, um, I just simply pop it in. I might put a little cloth down, not going to lie, and then just stick it over the radiator for a little while. Um, because it's the top on that way around and that's what I do to just so, and it just softens it back up um right so I'm gonna just now um again I think I might just add something else a little bit to it so we've got some um got some embossing powers on the show that I think I might use throughout there we've got some different colors um oh, from the cosmic shimmer age love these. yeah now these particular embossing powders that we've got on are um they're a mixed media embossing powder now by that I mean do you know like we've we've talked about using things like um are pigment inks and you can stamp with them and get detail with a stamped one with a mixed media embossing powder um i'm going to tell you now it's not going to work 
Jan will tell you the same thing. This is just for added detail, which I think I'm going to add a little bit on. I'm looking at the colour to see which colour will work well with this one. I think I'm going to go with the dark age one. And what okay. I'm just going to do is, and the lovely thing, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if our George can come in close. Please excuse the fingers. Um, it's like being in the pit. I'm sorry. <laughs> It does actually, doesn't it? <laughs> like, like I'll cover it that way up, but it's coming in close. Can you see it's a little bit more chunkier? Yeah. A um, bit more texture to it. It's a mul it's, it is, and they do call it, it's called a mixed media embossing powder. Um, now, what I'm just going to do is, I just want to add little areas to me, um, me embossed detail. So I'm just literally taking um, a translucent clear. Mm hmm just over the top and I'm just going to go in little areas so you can see I'm not being at all that's the fun thing about mixed media and yeah. having a it's having a play it's getting so, a bit messy yeah so I'm just going to pop a couple in little elements you could do this before you actually do it so you could actually pop it on your piece of cardstock before you stick it on um I just realized um <clears throat> old four par I'd stuck it down before I did that <laughs> So I'm going to go on there and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit down because I would have done that. <laughs> Andrew's nodding his head, he knows. I, 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 we all do it. I get that engrossed in what I'm doing. I forget what I should be doing yeah. and doing the thing that is the right way around, but I, I forget. Uh, so I'm just going to give that a little um, little helping hand just by little pushing tapped. it into that. Yeah, little tap. Let me just bring that in and I'm just going to give it a little area. Now you can see it's just distressing it up a little bit. But I'm going to bring in my heat tool. My little silent ninja each tool. So excited about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, the smallest things in life please me. And the fact that I found Jan's little silent um, embossing tool uh, really, really just pleased me no end. Because uh, he's silent and I can hear now, George. You are. My, oh, you little devil. Um, I just really struggle with the other one when I'm talking, especially because yeah. we've got a bit of distance between us. Um, my, my but I did find this. You'll know, George, mm. Elsie Courage Centre. Yeah, I know Elsie Courage Centre. Yeah, Elsie Courage Centre. Um, lovely craft store down there. I'm often in there. I quite help myself because I love the place. Um, I am a crafter at heart, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I'm always in there and I spotted it on the shelf. Can I tell you how excited I got? I let out a little squeal when I walked through the short store. She thought, <laughs> she actually said, are you all right? I was like, yep. Yeah, I've just seen something that I need. Uh, and this was it i did make a beeline for it producer georgina i was like there's no way anyone's gonna that, that, that's not escaping me let me tell you now can you see what it's done now it's turned yeah, yeah. Like, like embossing powder can you see the texture i'll bring it up close in a moment to show you um but again all i'm doing is heat setting it it's textured it's um rougher mm -hmm. that's the only best way i can describe it um more texture to it uh, but a fabulous one for adding like details like this but like i said actually i quite like this now because i've gone on to me uh me wood as well so it's it's really blending and will in emboss on wood yeah 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 emboss onto anything yeah i've just used our um do i have a looking mucky looking there excuse me wasn't mine um, water translucent clear, uh, sorry, watermark translucent clear, perfect for eating, bossing and things like that. So I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to heat set that and you can see it turn, you wait for it to turn. If you've noticed I'm not wafting it around like a, um, an air dryer as such. If I just bring that up slightly, uh, oh, there you go, there, there, there's the shot there for you. Uh, but it's like a texture. Yeah. And it, it's like, you, uh, obviously be careful because it's still quite warm where I've touched it and you don't, I'll, I'll go into that corner where it's not. Uh, but you can see it adds a lovely rough texture to it but really gives it a nice little finishing feel. And you could add that in areas all over. I'm just going to leave it there though, George, because um, I, I want to move on and, and get on with some rest of uh, things as well. I'm just yeah. going to then just add on now little elements. And again, it's it's about having a play. These are my dies. Um, in fact, they're the butterfly dies from... Um, Minis? Garden um, Lily. Did you say Lily? No, Minis. No, Lilies. Do you know the Lily Collection? I thought you said Lily Collection. I'm thinking, God, George, you are amazing if you, I, if you remember that. Uh, the Lily Collection um, from, I think it was a, was it a Nature's Garden, the Lily Collection? Yes. I'm looking at Andrew, and Andrew's looking at me, and I'm like, I'm sure it's a Lily, I'm sure it is. I'm going to say yes. I could be wrong. Uh, Producer Georgina, that's no help before my time. <laughs> I'm but making it up, I'm like, yeah, if you want. <laughs> um, our little sandbox is asking, are there any water-based gilding waxes? Water -based, yeah, the Cosmic Shimmer ones are, yeah, mm -hmm. you can use those. There's plenty out there. Um, I don't know if there are any others, because I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit of a 
I am a little bit of a cosmic shimmer addict. Um, and I do like, I do, I'm she not going to lie. She has been classes, it's fine. She has been in the sessions after to, <laughs> you know. The, the thing is, it's like, do you know, because we had it in store as yes. well. So I, I did, I did, that's why I'm a, li a little bit more uh, started the love affair with um, the embossing folder, uh, embossing folders, uh, co uh, cosmic shimmer, creative when expressions, you, all those things. When you worked at the store, did you do any work or did you just play with everything <laughs> that was... <laughs> Uh, do you know thing. what? Do you know what, George? Bad thing. I generally mean that. I, it sounds like I will let you off. I will let you off. Um, yes, I did a lot of hard work, let me tell you. Uh, but do you know what was lovely? When we got deliveries of stock and things like that, um, opening the boxes was mm. like a kid. Do you know, you know the feeling that you get when you're a kid? A yeah. kid at Christmas. And I know it weren't mine. I know it was to buy, and you had to buy it and purchase it. Uh, but it was like a, being a kid at Christmas. Every single time there was a knock on the door where we got a delivery coming in, couldn't wait to get in there and um, and really, really, really enjoy it. Absolutely fabulous. Now, oh, oh, producer Georgina. I was right, was I right? Tis from the Lily collection. Did you say it was still available? Oh, she didn't say that, she says. She didn't say that. Now, I've turned that MDF box into now a lovely, um, well, a lovely gift box just by adding little elements and just mixing up the medias. Oh, look, even on the inside looking really fabulous. Uh, but again, just showing you the kind of things that you can use uh, with your um, things that you have in your stash. And I would normally have started, and especially where it started life, it would have ended up being a card. Uh, but just by chopping into it, and I did it a couple of times, so it was a... Uh, one emboss well so two embossing folders that I did and then snipped into it with the sizes that you can do to create uh, your lovely uh, multimedia projects there you go absolutely all made possible with those wonderful embossing folders I launched a few weeks ago uh, all here for you today all 12 designs remember those unusual sizes and shapes for an embossing folder very rare that happens you're getting three of the A5 three of the A6 three of the 5 by 5s and three of the slimline cards as well. $53.49, $70.95, a huge saving of 25% on that for you as well. And you can also get them individually as well today. If you are wanting to get them, however, the best deal and the best value for money is if you are going for this full bundle here at 25% off. You're also getting a clearance buy discount on that at £42.76, $56.76. Um, loads of you getting in touch. Welcome to our masterclass all about mixed media. Uh, today we are helping you get the best out of your crafting. Hopefully you'll find some bargains along the way. Crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu. Uh, get ahead of the game. Shop the show. Uh, loads of stuff to get through this show today. Uh, don't forget, we've got no show this evening as sorts. It's our HSM preview. So we've also got to do demo of the day and demo of the week as well in the show. Uh, that's very, very very fun. Uh, the Gilding Waxes, which we'll talk about with the wonderful Debbie Robinson, who joins me live in the studio today. Uh, we are looking at these wonderful Gilding Waxes. Uh, again, I just, it always reminds me of that film, Come Play With Us. Uh, you've got five great collections here. At £47.96, $57.96. Uh, you're paying for four, you're getting one for free. You are getting, of course, the Empire Gold. You are also getting the uh, King of Gold. Hold it like that, you can see it a bit better on the glass, can't you? There's the king gold. That is there. This is your uh, antique gold. You're also getting your renaissance gold. And absolutely free, you are getting the silver. So they are your five gilding waxes that you are... I mean, when you hold them like that, and you can see all the different shades of gold there next to each other. Uh, £47.96, $67.96. Remember, you can inspire a platinum price as well on that for you at £38.37, $54.37. Uh, we're talking a lot about stencils today because, you know, having mixed media is always fun with stencils, especially using your pastes, uh, using your embossing powders. So much can be done with a stencil. Uh, the large stencil four-pack selection, £12.78, $15.92, over a half a 65% a uh, great price. Uh, here we are with the wood grain one. Again, a great die, a uh, great stencil. Now they are 12 by 12. You don't necessarily need to use every section of this die. Please feel free to use a little bit of it, a quarter of it. You'll see Debbie show you this later on. You've also, as well, got here for you today this wonderful uh, natural stone. You've also got the deco tiles, and you've got Chesterfield leather as well. 
Four great stencils at £12.78, $59.92. Uh, remember, they are available individually, but that best price there is huge. We've also got some great, uh, these guys are solo stock. If you are wanting to get these, please hurry because they may sell out before the end of the show. Uh, you've got the large sketched swirls at £7.99, $9.95. Or by itself, you've also got the dots and spots, which our wonderful Andrew was using one this morning, making those bu bu bubbles on uh, Colour Me Happy. Again, £7.99, $9.95. Uh, you've also got your Club Inspire discount on top of that, £6.38, $7.96. Uh, a lot of people loving Debbie's box. He ran a beautiful box, Debbie, uh, and a lot of love for the Lily Collection. Rhonda saying the Lily Collection is breathtakingly beautiful. Uh, guys, a lot of you are brand new viewers today. We've had a few new viewers in Columbia. Happy if you are brand new, let us know. What we keep talking about a lot is Club Inspire. If you're going, George, what is Club Inspire? It's our way of saying thank you for shopping with us. If only there was a person with a northeastern accent who with blonde hair who could tell us all about it. Sarah Davies can. Here she is. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Yes, welcome back to Crafters TV. My name's George Aiken. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me know what you're up to. Maybe you're sat watching us with a roast. Maybe you're sat watching us in bed. 
Maybe you are sat watching us in bed with a roast. Who knows? Uh, get involved. Comment below on the socials, YouTube or Facebook. Rachel's on the socials. Colleen's on the socials. George, I'm so sorry, Colleen. Colleen's on the socials. Uh, get involved. And remember, it's a masterclass all about mixed media. We're mixing the medias up. Uh, mixed mediums. Uh, you can have, you know, a bit of, bit of paste, a bit of stencils, a bit of ribbon, a bit of anything. And that is what we're talking about today. It's all about you getting involved and asking us questions whilst we give you some great deals and some great deal, uh, bargains along the way. Debbie Robinson's here. Debbie's having great fun. Uh, loads of you getting in touch today. We're going to look at these uh, brilliant stencils that we showed you just before the break. Those large 12 by 12 stencils. And there's four within the collection. You've got the choice of uh, wood grain, natural stone, deco tiles and Chesterfield leather. All available individually. However, that price that you're paying on screen there is a 60% saving. £12.78, $15.92. It is a bargain. You're also going to get a Club Inspired discount on top of that at £10.22, $12.74. A great collection and a huge stencil. Uh, Debbie, we talk about this a lot. You don't necessarily, because they are a big stencil, yeah. you don't need to use it all, do you? You can use elements of them. You can use them for um, inking techniques embossing techniques that's why i've got my beast out because i'm going to show you that one that you can do with it as well uh, sorry <laughs> that didn't sound right why i've got the ultimate pro out um to show you um obviously uh, how to emboss with them you can take elements of them and use them for your texture paste your glitter place pastes um, that we have on our website um you could spritz through them you could draw around them oh i can see a zentangle pattern straight away in that one a Zantango, oh my days. Uh, do you know, I've, everything, producer Georgian, I just have to explain why I've become a slightly obsessed. I'm looking at shapes now all the time, I'm thinking, what can I Zantangle into them? Yeah. What can I, honestly, that's how my brain started working. <laughs> and I've seen that straight away with this lovely stencil. And this is the pebble. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Hang fight, have I got that right? Natural stone. I said it was natural stone. They're natural like pebbles. Stone. I said pebble. Well, they're they are like natural pebbles. Stone. Yeah, they are like pebbles. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to do a bit of both with these. So I'm going to show you first how you can emboss with them. It's one of the questions we get asked a lot here at Crafters TV. Um, what's the combination to use a stencil with embossing? So I'm going to show you. Hence why I've brought out the larger one, because if you're going to do this technique, you will need your larger machines. Um, I will just say in the UK, we still have some alter alternate, that's it, Gemini Pros left. And they've got 10% off as well. So if you're in the market for a very large machine, when I say a very large machine, a 12 by 12 platform, um, this is the one for you. And it's not just a 12 by 12, because if you do know about the Gemini Pro, you can go right up to, is it 18 or 19? Yeah, 18. Think, so, oh my God, 18 honestly. 18 by 12. Yeah, uh, 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 the capabilities with one of these lovely machines is that there's, it opens up a whole new world of crafting. However, I'm going to talk to you about the um, embossing feature. Now I have, because I'm going to do a uh, like a plaque with this one. And what I'm going to do is, um, is I've chopped down a piece of cardstock. This is double-sided, um, and I think it's the fresh white double-sided Centura pearl that you'll find on the website. And I've cut this down to size because I'm going for a, I'm going for like a little home deco piece that's yeah. just roughly around about eight eight inches by eight eight, eight inches. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use it. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to pop down our stencil. So we're going to pop the stencil down onto the platform. Yeah. And then I'm just going to literally lay that in the middle. So I could use a 12 by 12 if I wanted, but I'm only, I'm only needing that piece. So that's why I've pop, popped it onto the top. The next thing that you need to do is you need to add your rubber embossing mat. Now for love and money, I can't find the one that fits the pro. Uh, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, the Gemini large one fits over the top just nightly, nicely, so that saved me bacon. Uh, then we're going to pop on the plastic shim onto the top, and then lastly, the um, cutting plate. Now, that is whether you're using smaller stencils. Don't forget we've got smaller options on the show as well. You could do it with that as well. It's that combination. So it's your stencil, your cardstock on the top, your, pla uh, your rubber embossing mat, plastic shim, cutting plate. Um, and that is the um, combination for embossing i'm trying to write, write this embossing with your stencils yeah. so many things you can do with your stencil well, you know the stencil that's pushing through there now it's yeah. very thin and it's got not much in between it's, the gemini is not going to damage that is it no no not at all no right. and it's down to the shims it's getting your shims right if you add if you have things like your magnetic shim with this oh my days you're going to do some damage mm -hmm. so please don't um, whenever you're embossing anything if you always remember a an embossing shim and a magnetic shim should never be in the machine at the same time right. if you remember that little rule of thumb 
you'll be fine. Now, right. literally, if I take this off now, I mean, I'm just going to move those out wow. of the way just for a second. But come and have a look now what I've done with that stencil. Oh, oh incredible. Honestly, stunning. It almost looks like 3D. <laughs> it yeah. just looks super cool. And whether you do it on the embossed side or the debossed side kind of thing, because the stencil's got like um, a, a right and a wrong way kind of thing. Uh, but again, just look, how incredible does that look? And that's going to act as my background paper um, for, and I'll just bring it in for a second. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's going to sit into the backdrop of my black piece of cardstock like so now we're going to use a little bit of the stencil this time george so mm -hmm. what i've done with this one is i've chopped down a piece of uh, watercolor cardstock and i'm going to make myself a little background uh, piece just by using um, a couple of our ink pads yeah um, and it's the water reactive dyes sorry water reactive ink pad yeah that's right water reactive ink. <laughs> me and my words today i swear i've not had enough coffee that's what it is I've only oh had me. one today. Only one? Only one. Yeah. Very unlike me. Very unlike me. I've usually had about four or five at this point of the day. Um, yeah, I've just not had them. I've run out of coffee up here. Not good. Not good. Tracy! Oh, behave. Behave. Stop me shouting Tracy in. Do you know what? I think I'm going to switch this up for fuchsia. Okay. Hang fire, because I really, really fancy a bit of a brighter pink uh, than the um, pink tulip. And that's the lovely thing about this exactly what you can do you can change that up so again i'm just going to make myself a little background piece let me go back over that oh that's better yeah quite like that um i've got a bit of tissue paper just underneath to stop my um inky fingers from spreading onto me cardstock uh, i've got another color here i've gone with um um crushed velvet with this one i'm going to go straight in there to get your seamless blend what you can do i mean there's two ways that you can do it i don't know if you've noticed i did one by popping it onto my glass mat um, one by just going straight in. This, again, there's no right or wrong way. You'll find a way that works for you. Um, but if you want to get that blend with your inks, all you've got to do is go back in and over and you get that lovely smooth transition with your blend. Uh, and I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. Uh, and like I said, the reason that I'm using tissue paper is to stop the moisture from my hands, not only just the inkiness, yeah. uh, but to stop the moisture from lifting. It's a water reactive one. Um, so it will will <laughs> lift with sweaty fingers and a little bit of um, heat on there as well. So all I'm doing is, and I'm just creating myself a little background uh, piece, yep. George. Perfect. Uh, Lodge, you love coming in for this show. Uh, guys, remember tomorrow... Uh, afternoon 2 p.m here in the uk 9 a.m east coast time 6 a.m pacific time is another masterclass stamping 101 uh, so if you want to learn anything about stamping myself and joe are going to be here no i'm not expert what? Any. yeah yeah oh i thought what are you an expert yeah me and joe are doing it oh, really i'm joking uh, we're splitting the show oh you see because i'm here in the morning we we'll oh. be splitting the shows a little bit now oh i get you yeah, yeah to give you a little taste of very nice did you think oh. what you think I was going to demonstrate? I did. It's when you said you and Joe were here. I'm not kidding. I actually straight away thought, oh, oh, I wonder I'm doing an expert. Expert? Are they going to be expert tomorrow? I mean, I'm all for it myself, uh, hey, George. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. Just stick that on there, slap it on, be fine. <laughs> Is that what you think we do? <laughs> no, no, that's what I'd be like. I'm not saying that's what you're like. I'd say I'd <laughs> nice, be like. nice, smooth. Um, <laughs> nice. I he got himself never, out of a little bit of trouble there. Never be an expert <laughs> like you, Debbie. Oh, Robinson. bless you. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same with what I've just done. Um, Again, just taking that little snippet. And then I want a raised element, and I also want to use my ink um, to create. So what I'm just going to do, George, is because I want it to go on there, placing it that way around. Yeah. Um, and I'm just using an element of that. I'm going to go back over with me. <laughs> My rubber mat, my makeshift one, um, and I'm going to just pop that back on, and we're just going to repeat that again by going through our machine, and then I'm going to use it before I lift it off. I'm going to actually use it with the stencil over the top to get uh, an inky background as yeah. well. So there's lots of things you can do with stencils, um, and again, they're such good fun. Texture pastes are amazing, and it, I am going to do one later on, I promise you, uh, with some on there. Um, and like I said, even though it's not on the show, uh, we've got plenty of these things on the website. So before I actually now i'm just going to lift that off could you just repeat this the plate combinations quickly uh, yeah, can, yeah. for using uh, the stencil on the pro please. so stencil down yeah cardstock on the top then you're going to pop the rubber embossing mat over the top then you're going to place i'll do it in fact i'll do it like that so you can see it plastic shim 
and then the other cutting plate yeah. and that's your combination right yeah so th yes absolutely now i've just i've just moved my um <coughs> just moved it now and i didn't want to move it because i want to try i'm gonna have to try and match it up now oh that was a good match wow I'm really impressed with myself there, George. Uh, so not only has it now given it, you can see it, you can visibly see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with um, uh, another ink pad. Now, I was going to use um, a water reactive one, but um, can't find the plum jam anywhere in the studio. It's almost like we've had things walking out of the studio of late. Um, I don't know what's been happening. Um, let me grab a clean, clean pad just for a second. I know, who can I blame, producer Georgina? Who can I blame for pinching the plum jam? Who was here last? Oh, I, I know I'm going to blame. Andrew. <laughs> we'll blame Andrew. <laughs> he was here last. <laughs> That's a great uh, but <laughs> God, you love him. You never hear me. I'm not. Thank I'm you, not. I'm not. He, know, he knows I'm jesting. Hey. He knows I'm jesting. But what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to run that across. Now, the lovely thing about uh, mixing, and they do work in harmony, because you're probably thinking, why are you mixing a pigment ink pad with the water reactive? But they work in harmony with each other. Mm. So absolutely, you can do. This stays wetter longer, um, so it gives you the... I, I, always, I almost feel like calling them a sticky ink, because um, it literally means that you can um, blend with them beautifully, but add things like your clear embossing powders over the top to create an enameled piece as well. Now, Debbie, stupidly, has not stuck her um, stencil down on and adhered it because it's quite a nice big stencil. I'm just going to try and be careful with this. I should have used my stick and spray, which is my repositional spray, to stop it from moving because it's such a big open piece. Can you see I've moved it slightly? Yeah. Might literally go a little bit wrong this last bit, but... Uh, We'll be okay. I've got another piece ready just in case. But when I lift it off, oh, oh, it looks really lovely. Um, and it, you have you have got that ability to stick some clear embossing powder, which I was going to do, but time is running away with me and I've got a lot, lot more that I want to do. Uh, but you could create another texture by adding that on and it gives that enameled feature over the top. But doesn't that look lovely over Very the two? Nice. And over the tones again, it's all about mixing your mediums up and things like that um, and using them in a different way as well. Uh, to clean your stencils, oh, what's that, producer Georgina? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. All right. So, so, I, so I get what you're saying. So, shall we test it? Yeah. Shall we do a Georgina's test? Georgina's asking, with that ink that is on there, could you put a piece of card back on that and run it through your Gemini machine? Well, the thing about masterclasses is, is uh, let's try it. Yeah. So, I've got it on with the ink still on there. I'm just taking a spare piece of cardstock. There's nothing wrong with you know these questions. This is what I love about our channel um, the fact that we are interactive all the time and we can answer questions that are being asked via YouTube or via our Facebook and um, if I don't know the answer I will tell you and um, if not I'll try it I did this on my last show down at Crate and Crafts I was asked a question didn't know the answer tried it live on air worked like a dream yeah. finding out something new every day we're always learning I've said this many a time um, to our other experts we're all the Oh, I say, oh, I say, doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, oh, who gave us that suggestion? Georgina. Georgina, I love that. And that's not wasting any of the ink either, is it? Because we're making do with the ink. And you know what? There's still ink on there. We probably could do a little bit more with it. Oh, look at, oh, oh, going on, mixing. Oh, look at Andrew, we're all like this. Oh my God, look how amazing this would look. Oh, you could really have a play. Do you know that's the fun thing about yeah. all things crafty? Have a play. Um, it really is. That, look, what a great idea, producer Georgina. We'll give you a big shout out for that one because well, that well done, was Georgina. a cracking idea. Cracking idea. No Normally, life. what I do, but I love that because it's given me an embossed detail, but it's embossed the ink into that stencil. Mm. Um, that, that is absolutely fabulous. Normally, what I do is I grab my spare piece of cardstock and I take my, um, I'm not going to do it on that one actually because I quite like that, I'm going to use that. <laughs> 
I would take it over and I would get myself normally drier than this one because but I just take it across and run it and clean it at the same time uh, and you can almost get like a little bit of um, a second third generation well this will be third now won't it because we've already inked it up but you can create yourself um, nice little extra feature and at the same time you're cleaning your stencil um, and you're also, uh, yeah, producer Jordan, I'm not wasting a single thing because I've created yet some more texture um, and just by using that. So again, it's not about, you know, it's, uh, Jan will, t she always tells me off if I waste. Debbie, you could use that ink. I can hear, I can hear her now, sat on my shoulder. Don't waste that ink. You literally can do other things with it and you can. And you've just seen that quite clearly with um, re-embossing. Mm. I mean, that looks amazing. And then using the excess ink. And the only bit that I wanted from that was this. <laughs> That's all I wanted from it, was this piece. Because uh, that is going to sit into uh, my car. So I'm just going to make sure that's, yeah, that's nice and dry. Uh, but again, texture upon texture, different kind of things. Mixed media is not all about one thing. It's no. not all about, and that's what we try and stress here. Jan will tell you exactly the same. It's not always uh, what you think it is. Do you know what? I'm... I'm liking the raised element to that one. I'm umming and ahhing now because <laughs> I, I like both sides. Yeah, me, I, 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 executive Andrew decision there. We're going in with that one. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Diane's been in touch. Hi, to be happy to be watching live for a few minutes. I'll watch. I watch some parts of every show every day, but rarely get to comment. I love the mixed media ideas. Oh, well, it's great to have you, Diane. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm. Even if you can't join us all day, that's absolutely fine. Um, our shows live on forever. Um, and if there's something that's caught your eye, or you, you just go back onto Crafters TV or YouTube and find. Um, I do get asked sometimes uh, specific things on when the shows were and what project I did. I'm not going to lie, because we're here quite a lot, I sometimes forget. So apologies if I can't answer the questions to that one. Uh, but by all means, go back and look through. We've got a huge catalogue mm. um, of shows, um, of loan shows, of masterclasses, of Colour Me Happy shows. Andrew did one this morning. That will live there forever. So even if you couldn't catch it, it's there forever for you to go back to. Um, and we do try, you know, to answer questions. That's what, I, like I said, I love about our show. We're into rea interactive, interactive. That's Wait a minute. Reactive. Interactive. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nearly got myself in a pickle then. Interactive. So it does mean that we can, you know, answer questions live while we are. And if not, I, I, again, my direct messages is always open on my Debbie Robinson Crafters Companion page. And I do my very best to answer. Can't always answer straight away. And obviously with time differences. Sometimes I can get messages pinging me at all times of the day, um, <laughs> in the middle of the morning. Um, I will try and answer. I do try my very best to go through them. I do get a lot, though, so I'm not going to lie. Just bear with me. If I don't get to you straight away, I will try to. It's usually Debbie messaging point. me going, can you come get the house keys? Can you come in the house? Will you please come round? I can't find where you live, George. <laughs> That is so true. That were a good that were a good description then, because that really were true. Especially you helped me out with that um, house key uh, situation. Turn up in a big white van. Neighbours were peeking through the curtains. Oh my god, yeah, we did like this transit. It almost looked like a transaction of it, didn't it? Look really, it really looked really <laughs> dodgy. I realised when you were stood over after I'd gone back in house, I thought, oh my god, I look like I were handing you. Because I was there Something. in like jeans and a hoodie, hat yeah. was on. Oh, a bit honestly. Looking. Honestly, sometimes you forget, don't you, how no. things can be interpreted. But yeah, but uh, yeah, but yeah, you help me out there. You help me out a little sticky part. Now, again, what I'm just going to do now, George, is I am going to um, attach on the back. I think I might lift it a little bit with some foam pads. Where are my foam pads? I was going to use. No, I'm not going to use foam. On a what? On on nothing. It's not back yet. Not back till Friday. The the four the four. Is not that what they call it? not back till Friday. Where have Friday. you gone? He's a, that's a big holiday, isn't it? I, do, I, do, I have missed him. I don't know about anybody else, but we have missed him. And just to reiterate, because I have seen some comments on social media thinking that he, what's happened to him, where is he? Um, he hasn't left. <laughs> he's not gone anywhere. No, he's, he's still very much with us. He's just on holiday. You so, guys. Yeah. He's not, yes. yeah, he's still here. Absolutely it is. The team keeps growing though. We keep getting loads of new members. We've had a recent addition in Corin mm. who's just joined us. Um, I've known Corin for quite a while because obviously, um, you know, our paths cross down at Create and Craft. Um, so yeah, it's, it's lovely to have her on our team with us. It really, really is. I'm just trying to see if I've got that straight, George. And I've realised my little mucky 
put fingers of court with the... But we'll forgive. I'm giving this to my friend, actually. I'm going to see her tomorrow. I've not seen her for absolutely ages. So. How is she? Uh, what, love? How is she? She's fine, thank you. I've got a message her this morning. Um, yeah, I've absolutely messaged her this morning. And we've, we've arranged a, a little date on my first day off. Where I'm going to go and see her. She's moved into a new house. Uh, Linda's another reason why I got into crafting. Uh, and I learned a lot from uh, my very good friend Linda as well because um, she... Uh, she was a big crafter herself for many, many a year. Mm -hmm. And she was always trying to get me into crafting. And I'm like, nope, nope, I'm not doing it. I haven't got enough time. Um, and then my aunt, it was my auntie that actually got me <laughs> into crafting. Um, but it was Linda where I used to go to classes. And then I ended up running the group that uh, Linda, uh, I used to go to. I ended up running it. Made lots of lifelong friends there. I really have. So it's going to be lovely to meet up with her. And I'm going to give a little shout out as well to my dad, who's been a little bit poorly about. I got a message just before the show. He's out of hospital. Oh, so he's back home. So I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now that I know he's, he's okay. So a little shout out to my dad and um, Hazel as well, because um, bless him. Give us a little bit of a scare, he did. He did. Now then, I've got this piece. Now I just need to attach, because I'm going to use this as a little wall hanger. Uh, and I'm just going to attach some ribbon around the back. But I think you can see from the dimension there, just look how beautiful. Just by mixing it. And that's from a stencil, George. We've yeah. used that in, again, different ways. So it's showing you the different ways that you can use it. I'm going to find my ribbon, because Debbie seems to have misplaced it, <coughs> as always. Thought I'd laid everything out there. Um, but I'm just going to, tell you what, attach it to my base card. There we go. And then I'll, I'll find my ribbon and we'll attach that later. I'll let you get on with your bits, George, while I find that ribbon. Well, that's all right. Let me remind you of this wonderful large stencil collection uh, for within this design for you today. Uh, again, great collection. Starting off with the wood grain, a brilliant, wonderful collection. You've also got the natural stone, which Debbie's been using today. You've also, as well, got the deco tiles. And wrapping up this question, uh, collection, you've got the Chesterfield leather again. Uh, a huge 65% saving, £21.78, $15.92. Maybe you're going, well, actually, they're quite large, George. They're quite large. I've got you covered, guys. Don't you worry. I look after you guys. When you say look after me, I look after you. Um, the smaller everyday pattern stencil five-piece collection. Again, five great designs that you all love and adore. You've seen them before, but I promise you, you can absolutely love them. You're saving yourself 60% today. Uh, you've got this here. You've got the leaves stencil. You've also got the hearts. You've also got the rick rack. You have also got the scattered dots and the stars and the spots. £11.98, $15.90. Remember, you can buy them individually, but that price, you're getting a 65% saving. I mean, you're literally getting a couple of dies absolutely free. Why would you not go for that? Uh, we've also got the Spectrum Noir Harmony Water Reactive Ink Collection. Uh, ten ink pads, remember, a huge saving. You're paying for eight, you're getting two free. Ten altogether. Starting off here with Spa Blue Dabba Dee Dabba Dye. It's a Spa Blue Dabba Water Reactive Ink Pad. Smoke Plume. Smoke gets in your plumes. Uh, smoked Emerald. Dye Green. Green Topaz. Ooh, dun 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 frosty. Jade there for you. Pine tree. <laughs> Grasshopper. Spring meadow. Friar Brown was a da 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 I don't know the words. And also after the lids got in there, jet black. The best a man can get. At uh, $38.99, $54.99, well, that could inspire price, £31.19, $43.99. Georgina's like, not even entertaining my wonderful singing, my beautiful songs. Um, Georgina, you absolutely, you're gonna, you love my singing. You don't realise it, but you love it. Well, tough, you've got the one now. Uh, guys, this was launched the other day and you have fallen in love with it. It's the craft storage case. Woo. Uh, thanks, George. And that floral print as well, that lovely crafters floral print. Now, we do a lot of great storage on Crafters TV, but this has really stepped the game out. Again, before we even open up this wonderful uh, craft case, you've got the wonderful handles. Remember that cushioned handle grip and the straps are sewn into the seams. So you know you get that reinforced support whenever you're lifting this up. Sometimes you you can see the straps and they just stitch around the edge. 
well, this is into the, uh, into the membrane. It's not going anywhere. And you've also got that Crafters Companion logo, uh, label there, which you're very proud to show. If before we even open up the badge, you've got this wonderful pocket on the outside. Uh, if you look deep in there, it's a huge pocket. Uh, pen, plenty of room to store whatever you wish. Now, these bags, perfect for your craft items, but let's be honest, you can use it for whatever you want to store, toiletries. Now, you look at the bottom there, you've got those two great, huge zips, which means that once you bring your zips all the way around to the bottom, this means that your craft case can lie flat just like so. And there's no tension and no pressure on the zips there. Uh, the, the bag has been designed to be hanging up. For example, if you uh, hang it in your bathroom, uh, maybe like so, you can hang it on the wall like so, maybe on the bathroom door, wherever you wish to hang it, back of the toilet, if you are putting medical supplies in there. It's got a metal hook alongside with that rubber cap, so it's not going to scratch your door or your surface, and it's also going to give you that great support that you may need. It's got a little bit of grip there. Uh, the first wonderful pouch is that one here with that clear see-through side, so you can see exactly what's inside, along with that strong reinforced zip, nice and big and large, and the storage is going to the very edge. You're not losing an inch of room. If you flip it over, you've also got what I call the holster, the elastic holster. Uh, again, where you can put your tools, they can slide in there, maybe some scissors, hairbrushes, and as well, just to reiterate how strong that hook is, that support is going all the way down there, so the tension is being spread throughout the bag. You've then got these two identical sized pouches, perfect for whatever you want to put in there. You can put your plates of certain machines in there, I want to say your junior plates in there, uh, you can even put your, your, do uh, your finger daubers in there if you wish, glues, whatever you wish, uh, huge, great pockets, again, with the two zips that you see there and there, uh, perfect for whatever you wish to put into them. Again, about two inches of uh, thickness either side of these and then to wrap up this great bag you've got this wonderful i call it like a pencil case uh, but it is perfect it's there attached however you have got the option to take it off with a zip and it becomes detachable from the bag meaning you can take it uh, if you want to if you're taking this to a hotel with toiletries you can put some makeup in there maybe you've got it in the back of your car with uh, games but uh, things for the kids and you want to make a small little first aid kit when you get to wherever you're going you can detach this put it into your handbag or your backpack knowing that you've got a selection of first aid supplies ready you've got a great zip there for you as well and you've also got a great pouch either side at uh, room for loads and loads of things bear in mind that when you put this all flat the one thing that we've been saying as well is don't overfill it yes you've got loads of room in there but if you see on the side here how actually thick this bag is it's a huge sandwich and there's loads of room in there what you don't want to start doing is pushing it too much where you are going to start damaging it and it may not close up however you've still got plenty of room in that as well if you're liking it in the floral it's a great price for you $22.99 $34.95 alternatively you can go for the cheetah print again all the same design qualities that you've just seen in that wonderful floral print bag. But if you want to uh, carry around your inner Debbie Robinson in a bag, then it is. It just reminds me, this, this is your print. I think this is your print. Uh, this is the Debbie Robinson style. Then you can carry this down. All priced at $29.99, $34.95. Remember, your clearance by a platinum price, $23.99, $27.96. So much love for this bag, which was only launched the other day. Um, Lisa said, I ordered two of them. Please make a suitcase of material in this print. I love it. And Deborah said, I love this. Need a few. Guys, uh, if you want the floral, when I checked the other day, half of the stock had gone on the florals. I've got a feeling about 67% of the stock has gone on the floral. Uh, but if you want to get them, head to the website now. But talking of hanging, hanging things, look at your <laughs> wonderful oh, hanging side. So, so smooth there, George. So right. smooth. You saw me waving it around. Yeah, my lovely little hanging. That's going to go to my lovely friend Linda tomorrow because uh, she is a special friend. And a nice little hanging there. But again, just showing you how you can use uh, your stencils in a different way too. Uh, so, George. Yes. Are you done your bit now? I'm done, me. I'm That's packing okay. up. That's okay, just, just getting so excited because we've got some amazing um, amazing products on the show as well. So we've got some misses on the show. We've also got some Pixies Sparkles, which I love these. Yeah. These are from... Uh, oh, you're kidding. Which two? Which one's gone? Do you know I had four when we started? Oh, what are you guys like? And let me just tell you, these are amazing. So I'm going to start with, since they're on the screen first, we'll start with the Ellis Mr. 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 Spray. This it sounds I want to say it like that. The Mr. Spray. The Mr. Sp oh, my God. 
The Mr. Sprays. Thank you. Ella's Mr. Sprays. Never mind giggling you two over there. Uh, but these are fabulous. Do you know if you love um, creating backgrounds? And I know I heard Andrew say the same thing uh, today. These are fabulous for creating them. Um, these are so easy to use. And, and I'm going to show you exactly how easy they are to use. Can I just say the size of these? They're big Mr. Sprays, absolutely. There's a lot in there uh, as well. And it is a very easy system to create. You're gonna give it a little shake in between when you're using these. And can I just warn you, they may stay in clothing. So all I'm gonna say is, uh, if you're using these around someone, uh, when I did my background pieces of paper with them, there was nobody stood around me. Uh, they do spread, is what I'm gonna say. If you think about how these work, and I'm, are these the colors that we've got, producer Georgina? Fabulous. So I'm going to start with, and it gives you a beautiful fine mist. So I'm going to start with the Pacific, wait a minute, Pacific Point. We've got the, I'm going to grab a little bit, Poppy Paradise, and we've got the Filthy, pi oh, Flirty Pink. I thought that said something else. I'm thinking, what? Filthy Pink? Flirty Pink, yes, a Flirty Pink. That's all I'm going to say. I'm sorry. I thought that said something else. I, honestly, George, I am definitely going on this holiday to the glasses place and get my eyes tested. Flirty pink. In fact, we'll start with that the one. The optician, some people call it. The optician. The glasses place. Of course, I can say that, can't I? The glasses place. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, I'm going to use some kitchen roll because um, I am not getting shouted at by the lovely Tracy. Can I just warn you now? So, um, I'm going to place... I'm going to place some kitchen roll down. Thing is, they've got a special event on tonight, aren't they? Um, and there's no yeah. way on this earth I am muckying this counter. They don't up. need us for this. They don't need us for the special events. They what? They don't need us for the special events. They, only, <laughs> they don't. They don't wheel us out for the special events. <laughs> Well, I'm corn. making sure my counter's covered. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, because they're, they are a lot, they're, they're good fun, these as well, um, George. They really are. going to bring in some water-coloured cardstock because this is a, a water-based uh, mitzer. Mitzer? You George, I think you, should be, I think you should be over this side today because so I, I swear my words today are really, I'm really struggling with my words. Uh, I'm just going to open it up. Now, I have been a little bit mucky because I was playing with these earlier. In fact... So much so, I'm going to give it a little white clean of the nozzle before I actually start. But they're a lot of fun. And again, lots of mediums that you can go straight on to as well. Um, make sure um, when you're doing it at an angle that you're not squirting over the top of someone. But simply, and again, all I'm going to do is, it's like a pumping action. Uh, give it a little shake because I've not used it. And in between your uh, usage, give it a little shake. And that's just to mix all of that up. But again, I mean, I love... It might just be beautiful. From your fine mist to your, uh, I, love, I love the splatters. I'm not going to lie. Can I just tell you, the splatters for me are, the, I think they really do make it. Now, that is a beautiful pink. Can you see? Abs yeah, it's a pink. Not the, it's a flirty pink. Flirty pink. And it's suitable for any porous surtis. I know she was going to say that. It does, it has, I'm not going to lie, it has got a little bit of an orange tone, but when it dries, and I'll show you my little background. Um, I'm it's because it's flirting. Is that why it, it looks orange? Oh, oh, you, do you know? This one is the pop, Poppy Paradise. You can mix these up, can I just tell you as well? Right. But Oh my God, that is. <sighs> There's been a murder. <laughs> There's been a murder. I love how you said that. Uh, but the more you spritz, and you can, you can go in, and I'm going to be a little bit more heavy-handed with this one. Um, oh, see why I... Oh, cover that bit up. No one will see that in a minute. You'll give me, you'll give me some time to clean what up, you won't do? you? What do you do? Nothing. What have you done? Nothing. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, dear Lord. Um, I may have sprayed the desk. Never mind giggling. Never mind giggling. Um, I'm going to use the next I one. Say. Shh. The I next say. one is the Pacific Point. Now, if you're going to use it, because you can paint with these as well, oh. so I'm just give it a little... Shh. Oh, I'm telling. Yeah, I know. It was a little bit more than that, George. Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh, no. yeah. 
So go on back over there. Get back over to your end. Get back over there. Oh, <laughs> you're getting so I know I am. Off. I'm going to get into trouble, aren't I? Uh, but again, just look how beautiful. Uh, there's some lovely things that you can do with them. Like I said, you can, um, and, and don't worry because it is a water-based one. Uh, but it is, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, it just gives you all the warning things at the back. And I say warning, it does with any kind of ink. Yeah. There's nothing to be fearful of these. But you can create some beautiful backgrounds. Now, I know Andrew will love these because he loves his water-based products is gonna uh, honestly you can paint with these you can pop some you can squirt some into your little um you know your little palette and paint with them honestly uh, you can create backgrounds with them you can mix them up i'll give them a little blast because um mine are a little bit wet so well while you're doing that can i ask you a question yeah uh, patty says question on the pixie sparkles i've been trying to find all the colors to collect and notice there's different style bottles that labeled as pixie sparkles are these the same thing or have they had a what, different packaging? So Pixie Sparkles and Pixie Powders mm -hmm. are from Cosmic Shimmer. Yeah. Uh, the Pixie Sparkles are a lovely, our lovely Jamie was here the other week, weren't he? Mm -hmm. uh, was it Thursday he was here? Yes, he I'm was. I'm just dabbing off my excess ink because I, I don't want to get into trouble, so I'm just dabbing off the ex excess bit. Um, the Pixie Sparkles are, and they are very similar. So the, the Pixie Powders are in a little smaller bottle. The Pixie Sparkles, wait a minute, Pixie Powders are a smaller bottle. Uh, the Pixie Sparkles, these are where they've got a little bit more of a chunkier mica, I'm going to call it. Um, but they're absolutely beautiful. They really are. They've got like particles in there. Right. Um, the pearlescent par particles. I'm going to show you how fabulous these are in a second. But I'm just going to, George, I'm just going to clear up. Debbie, you didn't hear what, that, did you? What, what are you doing, chucking? I honestly am the clumsiest person, and when I get a little bit like carried away when I come into oh. uh, making back. Hang on, hang on, Crafting Stacey, sorry, sorry, to then, be sorry rude, really rude. Crafting Stacey, the ink on the kitchen roll, could you place it face down on the card and emboss? Yes. And I was just going to say to you, can you see all my lovely pieces yeah. here that I've got? Not only have I got some fantastic backgrounds that I can die cut into, we've got some lovely florals on the show, could be using things like that. Uh, and dependent on the look, I've gone light. I've gone dark, and then, of course, any old owl you can use. But I just love the any old owl. I love the texture it gives you and the feel. They love that lovely, fine mist spray. I love the you texture it gives you. You can't achieve that with anything else, can you? You what, love? You can't achieve that fine mist without no. the, the, the right tools. No, you need the right tools. And I'm just going to clean all mine down because, um, not that she's looking, but she probably is watching. Uh, our ever watchful Tracy. Bless her little soul. She'll be watching us now. She'll be like, clean them up, Debbie, for the next person to use. Although I have dropped the end of that one. Uh, but the answer to the question, <laughs> I'm not wasting any of that. Let me tell you, this kitchen roll now can be, and I'm going to do it while we've got time. Am I right to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use our, um, and again, there's some amazing pieces there. Let's just tear a bit of this up. I've got some scissors on there. Let me just, um, mm, 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 mm. I'm just going to tear it. Let's just tear it, George. Um, normally, what I would do with this is, because do you know how kitchen paper can separate? Yeah, But ply. what I'm just going to do is I'm going to pop down. I knew it would dry up. These studios are really warm today. Or is it me? You're always warm. No, you I know I am. You need John Waft in you. I was cold when I came in, uh, but now I've gone a little bit on the warm side. Um, and I'm not going to lie, but this is what I'm just going to do. <laughs> Told you. I should not be let loose on a multimedia, mixed media kind of show because um, I do get a little bit carried away. And I'm going to stick that down. And then when that's dried, I will go over with another coating and that will just seal it. You can seal it with some varnish if you want to as well. But I'm going to stick that on there. And then when that's dry, and again, I will just pop a little bit on. There's, um, there's a Cosmic Shimmer one, and I can't remember the proper name of it, but it's like a sealant over the top. Um, but I could use this now, and again, same with all these pieces. Use these pieces. Don't be throwing anything away. Let that dry, and then you can die cut into it. You can emboss into it. Um, but you've got yourself a little piece of cardstock now that oh, actually looks quite arty, that, doesn't it? Mm. Looks like one of those... Um, Thank you. Yes, Andrew, it looks very abstract. Absolutely. So don't be throwing away your kitchen tile kitchen tile kitchen roll oh that looks quite nice oh that looks lovely 
detail which kind of kitchen roll we use there. But I wouldn't be throwing it away. Let that, and when it's dry, you can then die cut into it, you can emboss into it. Yeah. Um, and if you seal it with your um, sealants over the top or run it over with some more glue, let it dry first though. Don't try applying glue onto the top of it because you'll get a soggy mess. So I can't now, I can't, honestly, I can't now put glue onto the top to seal it because it would literally just crumple up. Let it dry, stick a sealant over the top and then die cut into it or emboss it. Don't be throwing anything away, anything away because uh, you can use that. In fact, I'm gonna stick that for a later project uh, because that's the beauty of it. Now, I can't believe we've only got two left. I'm gonna show you. So what were the colors again that we've got? Copper Splash Boulevard Lights. These are incredible. I love Pixie Sparkles. Yes. Now, I'm going to bring in some watercolour cardstock. Um, again, just because it is... Um, and it, and it is, it's a combination of your pearl mica particles and dye powder together uh, and water base. It's gonna, it's really gonna come to life when you use water. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my water spritzer. I thought I had it out, but again, must have put that away. Do you know me today? I was doing so well, George. Yeah, there we go, I've there got a water is. spritzer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my cardstock first. So yep. let's give this a little spritz. I'm just giving it a light coverage. Very there better nice. not be any ink in there, let me just tell you. Um, and then I'm going to give this a shake. Now, when you've got these bottles, uh, because the nature of them is that it'll settle towards the bottom, you need to give it a little bit of a shake up. Off just give it a little shake to mix them up together. Take off your lids. There will be a sealant, and I'm just going to open it up to show you what I mean by that. There'll be a sealant over the top. When you get them home, before you start trying to squeeze it out and nothing coming out, pull off the uh, pull off the tab, and then it's ready to go. Um, and it, Well, actually, look at that. You can actually see those chunkier sparkles yeah. just beautiful but i love pixie sparkles absolutely beautiful now i'm just going to use this one is the copper splash and again i'm just gonna and i'm literally just splattering little bits all over and then i'm going to get the spritzer again oh Whoa. oh my god do you know i look honestly I absolutely adore them. And if you want to add a bit more, go back in. There's nothing to stop you from adding more. Um, but you've got like lots of, I mean, look. Let me dry that off. Let me just dry that off for a second. I adore um, things like this. I don't know what Andrew's like, but I absolutely love making backgrounds, making textures with them, adding them. I always get a nicer result. I'm more of a... A more premium result mm. on a watercolour card, so that would have been a water-based product. However, I'm going to do one more technique with these in a minute with the other colour. Um, I might get my shaving foam out and do a little bit of a shaving foam technique. What's that? Where you can do... Now, pixie sparkles into your shaving foam. Yes. Yes. I'm Our lovely sorry. Jamie Jamie Rogers told me, because I, I was telling her about, oh, I love the technique of... A, um, I love the technique with... Um, Shaving foam, yes. with our inks, with sparkles, with aquas, mm -hmm. things like that. I love that technique that you can create. Um, and they said, oh, have you tried it with my, my pixie sparkles? And I went, what? No. And they were like, Debbie, try it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a this try right exciting. now. But I'm just drying off all my excess. If you find you've got like some pools of water and you want to speed the process up a little bit, let me just grab a little bit. To, um, all she'll do is just dilute it slightly. And I mean that by taking off, you know, the ink. Can you see when I do that? I've just diluted it slightly, but I just want to show you. Yeah. Now, the nature of, um, and you can see it, the nature of your watercolour cardstock does warp a little bit, not going to lie, uh, but you can get it back into shape. Uh, you can do it on the other side as well, and it pushes it back in. Another little top tip there. Or you can take your little fingers, and you can straighten it uh, that way as well, and then you can die cut into it and those kind of things too. So again, let's just push that down there for a second. George, can you get in close? <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, honestly. But look at the different look at the different colours that you're getting in there. What a gorgeous background to either die cut into. <coughs> Excuse me, use as a background paper. Uh, personally, I die cut into them. I'm not gonna lie, I love doing this and then and cutting like flowers out and butterflies and oh honestly, just absolutely beautiful. But look how incredible. Now I'm gonna show you the one that I did with a swatch. Oh, so you can see wow. the two. Now, the only difference that I've done with this one, and it's the same one, as you can see, got my little swatch thing on the back, um, is I added more. I just kept building it up and building it up. And look, oh, 
it's like wow factor every single time i'll show you the swatch for the uh, boulevard i love this one the boulevard lights look at that perfect i mean hello hello look at that jesus i absolutely love it jones i get carried away every single time um I, the, jamie's got quite a lot in the collection now um of his pixie sparkles but they're absolutely beautiful put the right top on debbie not that one um and then i'm gonna now use um a bit of shaving foam shall we put a bit of shaving foam down yeah i was gonna do it into my little pot well i say little this was george's mission to find me a little pot and this is what you found for it, Look, George. I tried, right? <laughs> what, what do you want from me? I'm just one it was man. Because, it was because I was trying to keep... Because because we've got an event coming up later on, as you're all aware, HSM previews coming up later on at 7pm tonight in the US. Um, I'm trying to keep things um, clean and tidy. <laughs> Might not all really work. I mean, who present, yeah, who, who put these things together? A mixed media show just before the HSN. And I'm hoping I don't run out of form. Oh, come on, come on, you're not going to let me down. Let's get some form. I think we might be needing a little note to Tracy, but I think we need some more shaving form. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much if I can't get much more out. Crafting stage, this is when Cuppa and a chocolate digestive, CTV Bliss. And here we are with Derry Robinson. Right, let yeah. me just, let's try it this way. That's it. Let's try, because it's gone a little bit on the, um, what shall I say? How can I describe it? Um, gunky yeah. side. Uh, so yes, note to Tracy, can we let her have a little note? We need some more shaving foam. Tracy, more shaving foam, please. Yeah, unfortunately, Mrs. Smith's next door is not open. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Granny. Mrs. Smith's, Granny Smith's. Granny. Granny, Granny something. Granny. Yeah, there's a little store next door, isn't there, that we use. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to worry, though, too much, George, because what I'm just going to do is sort of flatten it out a little bit, and I was going to use my ruler, but, however, I'm going to have to use a bit of cardstock. Your ruler's no there. It's, it's, it's up. I'm just flattening it. I just want to flatten it a little ah, bit. Ah, okay. Yeah, and just push it into, like, a little area. But it's fine. It's fine. It'll work. It'll work. Leave that there for a second. Uh, now, the other colour. What did I not use? Was it the Boulevard Lights? Boulevard Lights. Yeah, let's go in there with that one. So I'm going to give it a little shake up. I walk a boulevard. Green day there for you. <laughs> Actually, do you know what I might just do? I'm just going to add another colour into there. I know we haven't got it because it's been sold out, but I just want to add a little bit of a different colour in there as well. Just, just um, tease everybody. Oh, well, do you know what? The thing <laughs> oh, is, wow. because you may have bought them, yes, um, it's just a show. Yeah, I'm Ooh. sorry. I've just had to put some extra colour in there. Oh, don't it look gorgeous already? Almost good enough to eat. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful. However, pokey tool, where are you? Pokey tool. Let's grab a bit of a pokey tool. And we're going to give it a bit of a little swishy swish. Swishy swish. Oh, oh. oh already. And I'm only using a fraction of what I normally would use because I would normally have quite a nice bit there. Uh, however, I'm quite happy with that. So all I need to do though is now fraction of the cardstock, Debbie. Fraction of the cardstock. I've gone in with a um, Centura Pearl, but I think I might just grab a piece of watercolour cardstock. If I may, George, uh, just for you may this not. particular. I know, I had them cut out, you know, but do you know what I think I've done? What? I think I've used them in the other demos. Oh, I think I may have used Debbie. them in the other demos. So, however, we're not going to worry too much because I've got a little scrap. Um, and I'm going to go straight in and splodge. <laughs> so satisfying. So satisfying. At the minute, not looking too much like much. Uh, and again, I would use like a, do you know, like your old credit cards and things like that? Mm. Now, we'll see if this works, but let me pull that back. <gasps> oh, I like. Oh, my days. Oh, I am loving that. Now, I did, I was a disbeliever of Jamie when he told me he did it with his pixie sparkles. Uh, but the proof is in the pudding right there. And we've still got all this foam. And I've got a little bit of Centura Pearl. So while I've got a little bit of Centura Pearl going off, let's chuck a bit more colour down. Do just a little couple of squeezes in there. I'll use that other colour as well to give it a little bit of a... Where's my gold one gone? I like gold. Oh, I'm like, so I'm covered in glitter. Gold. I'm like, I'm loving, I'm, I absolutely love shows like this. Uh, but again, let's just give it a little swirly whirly. Now, normally shaving foam is not of this consistency, can I tell you? Um, <clears throat> it has uh, gone into like what I call a liquefied blob. 
Um, normally shaving foam has got a bit more of a thicker consistency. However, I think we might get away with this one, George. Mm. I think we might get away with it. So again, I blob it down. Squidge, lift up. Oh yeah, can you see? Now normally shaving foam has got like a um, thicker consistency. So you probably would get away with a, a, with a better one. You get a better result. However, I think I'm quite all right with this. Ooh, oh, it's a bit more milder, so it's nice. not as, it's not as, um, but it still works. And I think that's just because of the consistency of my, um, can you see what I mean? It's not like a thick one. It's gone like into a liquidy paste. Uh, but I think you could get away with that. You can still see that beautiful pixie sparkle all over there, shimmery and shiny. And even more so because not only have you got the pixie sparkle on the top, you've got the Centura Pearl. Uh, so two beautiful ways that you can use it. And again, just showing you whether you're going in its purest form of just taking it into your cardstock and splattering it everywhere with a bit of water uh, you've got two beautiful techniques there that you can use it and again just works absolutely beautifully oh right i need a minute george to yep. have a little bit of a clear up because i'm not gonna lie it's got a little bit messy at the back of here I'm and i need to clear up never more tempted to uh, put shaving foam in your face. Uh, Panda Craft <laughs> says, but when I, when I do the shaving foam technique, I even use a kitchen roll that I clean the card with to make flowers using dyes so it all coordinates. Oh, beautiful. It really is. Uh, another great collection for you, and something which we don't show that often actually, um, is the reinkers for your Stretch and Noir pens. The uh, rainbow collection, do you see what I've done here? I've made it into a rainbow. Uh, now, this is brilliant. You've got a great price here for £31.44, $41.73. Our Spectrum Noir pens are some of the best in the business. A 25% saving here for you today. Um, they are the best in the business. And in, after the break, what we're going to do is show you how useful and versatile these are and why when you buy a Spectrum Noir pen, You've bought it for life. Uh, Debbie's going to show you how to refill these very, very shortly. So if you've got either the classics, the illustrators, you want to stick around for this. Whilst you're on the website, remember, she's got some great deals for you and that 20% off storage until midnight tomorrow. We'll see you back here very, very shortly for that re-inking uh, masterclass. Do not go anywhere. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy. Get yours now. Welcome back to Crafters TV. It's a masterclass all about our wonderful mixed medias. Uh, we're going to look at something all about re-inking. So, Debbie, these are our re-inkers, our rainbow collection, 25% saving today. What do we mean when we talk about because you said this earlier when you buy a spectrum noir pen yep it's for life it is and what do you mean by that so it's a system you're buying a system you're not buying a pen that once it's run out you throw it in the bin you're buying a pen that you're going to keep forever and all you need is thank you very Sorry, much 
Thank you. Is a reinker. So this is how you would read. Now we don't we don't tend to cover this on the show. So I thought I'd show you how to use it. Now can I just tell you, ink is ink. Alcohol ink is beautiful. You can use it with alcohol blending ink as well to create some beautiful techniques on you pull at you. You pull paper, goodness me, I'll try to say that all wrong. Uh, we do have some, unfortunately, it's not in stock on our website at the minute, but keep an eye out for it because you can create some beautiful, almost like glossy light techniques because it blends so beautifully together. So you could do techniques like that with it. Unfortunately, we don't have any on the show, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to show you how to re ink one of the pens. Because I hear, and I hear a lot of people tell me that um, they buy the pens and then when they run out, they go and buy another one. And I'm like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, why? Uh, why do you bought another pen? Because you don't need to. Buy a bottle of ink and this ink's going to last you a long time. And like I said, there's lots of different things that you can do with them as well. I'm just taking the sealant off because this was George's. Um, so I'm just taking the sealant off. Uh, and again, you've got a little instruction sheet on here, which I always think is really cool because, uh, and in different languages as well. Uh, but again, talks about your um, alcohol um, Ink, re uh, Now it is, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. It is an alcohol ink, so I want you to be careful. But I'm, I'm taking one of the classics and I'm taking the um, correct one, which is the, is this the sunflower? I am making sure I've got the right one on tap. CT2, yeah, look at that. There you go. CT2, CT2 on the pen. Now, whenever you are um, doing this, this is when you'll take your chisel side of your pen. So I'm going to pop underneath, I'm going to pop a bit of paper underneath just to lift that off because it can be sometimes quite distracting with the craft mat underneath just so you can see what I'm doing. Now, you grab yourself a pair of tweezers, you're gonna get hold of it, and you're going to just gently pull at the nib. Now, if you want, you can take your fingers. I'm just gonna be very careful because I have got ink on my fingers, and the last thing I want to do is transfer that ink onto my nib. But just gently pull until the nib comes out. And there's your nib out, and now here is your system where you are going to, and it comes in the little pipette. I'm just gonna put that there because my paper's a little bit warped, but I'm just gonna show you. It comes in a little pipette. I'll just drop that on there so you can see. That's your lovely, so it is literally, and it needs to be a small pipette for the reason being that it pops into there, and then you drop the ink in. And that is how you re-ink a pen. Please don't be buying our pens, and then once the pens run out, go and buy another one. Get yourself a bottle of the reinkers, and we've got some gorgeous colours in these. And like I said, once that you pull paper comes back into stock, um, you'll be able to do your lovely techniques with it. So I'm just filling up there with a few inks. It, it literally is just giving it a little bit more of life. You'll just carry on filling in. Don't overflow it. Lisa, how would you know when you are? Yeah, so you just have film. to be careful. I just put a couple of drops in. That's all it needs. Because if you think about it, the ink in there will soak up through your... Um, uh, your nib uh, and I'm just going to be careful George because I've seen my fingers have transferred my ink onto there but simply take your um, uh, nib back in and then you're just going to gently and I say gently push that back in and clip it onto top and now you've got it re-inked re and again it just uh, all it needs is because if you think about this is the barrel where the ink lives this is where it all lives inside there so you're going to be able to get if it's dried out completely you're going to be able to put about quite a few drops of that in until you know and you'll know by simply going on and now I've got a lovely full ink re-inked ready to use and that's how you re-ink your pens now I don't know um, if that's helped anybody but we've got some beautiful colours in that collection it definitely is a rainbow collection uh, but it is also an ink that you can then use mm -hmm. it's an alcohol ink works beautifully on your coated cardstock like your UPO uh, and like your photo paper that kind of thing yeah. and I'll just show you one that I did what I played with at home so I can show you so when you do get it um, home and I used, a diff I used a couple of colours here, George, uh, wow. but I had to play with it. And I used some blending solution, literally just drop it onto your UPO paper, um, and that's the kind of technique that you can do. It's almost like a glossy finish. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the UPO paper in stock, but like I said, please keep your eye open. But they're the kind of things that you can do with your alcohol inks. So they can work as a medium that you can then attach on, like I said, and you just drop it on and let it dry. Let it dry, and that's Easy the result that, that you get. Uh, scrap paper scissors saying, I've had these classic pens for classic pens for years, and they've no, never run out of ink. 
They are wonderful. When they, they do, are, yeah. you know exactly what to do. Uh, great deals for you. Let's get demo of the show going because we're also in the show do demo of the day and do demo of the week as well as we don't have an evening show as normal. Uh, right, so Debbie, what have you made for us today? Well, not a lot, apart from mess. I've already oh. done two finished that finished ones, uh, but um, never mind. It's not about the quantity, is it? It's about the quality. So I'm going to talk about the first one that we did. So using one of those 3D embossing folders, using uh, gilding waxes and using the uh, embossing powders as well. There's our little gift box using an embossing folder in a slightly different way. So that's number one. And then number two is our lovely little wall anger using the uh, larger stencils uh, and taking it but chopping down into it, using it to emboss with, using it to emboss with and then ink over the top and as our lovely Georgina showed us as well, the fabulous way to be able to use the uh, excess ink. So it's one or two, one or two because they're the only two finished ones that I've done, the rest have been technique based. Absolutely, a few minutes of that, we've got to do demo of the day and demo of the week all in the show. A uh, great collection for you, the Silhouette Floral Dye Collection, uh, 15 elements on this for you today you are getting here these wonderful dies that you adore every single time 15 great elements here for you you've got the bumblebee paradise this must be just like paradise for bumblebees um all the different <laughs> nothing not even a twitter uh, again all the different flowers there the heathers again and then you've also got the scent of summer i can smell it i can smell the thistles i can smell it it's coming Summer is a coming, summer is a coming. Uh, and you've also got as well the uh, butterfly medal. $29.22, $33.63, a saving of 25%. Uh, Club and Spire price on that $22.38 and $26.90. Uh, alternatively, you maybe like those, and like, oh, I like the aqua colours as well. But we've got a great deal. That's, that's what you might sound like. And if you are, I'm sorry. Uh, but you've also got here for you, you're going to get the uh, tri-blend aqua markers, which we were talking about earlier, tri-colours, myself and the wonderful Andrew, this morning on Colour Me Happy. You're getting them within this bundle and 14, uh, 15 sheets of watercolour card. Uh, remember, your, tri your tri-colours are similar in the sense that they are like your tri-blends, but you don't get three shades of one colour. What you get is colour combinations of sorts. So you get in here, in the floral meadows, you get in the uh, floral collection. You get in the bright floral family, the warm fiery family, <laughs> and the fresh verdant family. Colours which uh, complement each other. Colours that work together. So you can see there across the bottom, you're getting rose pink, jasmine and tulip, which is making that bright floral collection. Again, with the fresh verdance, you see it there. So they're the colours that you're getting with that one. You're also going to be getting the colours for the great outdoors. Again, three brilliant families, botanical naturals, cool marines and the rich florals, plus a great selection of colours across the bottom. And you're going to get there the colour basics. The warm primaries, the cool primaries and the complementaries. Again, Designed very similar to your tri-blends, three pens stacked in each other, so in theory you are getting uh, 9, 12, 9, 18, 27 pens altogether in that collection for you. £51.99, $67.68, uh, along with those wonderful dies and the 15 sheets of colour. Um, Debbie Robinson, uh -huh. oh, before, I before you demonstrate these wonderful pens to us, uh -huh. demo of the show, Yes. number one. Oh! Your wonderful box. Okay, well that's a good job because that, that, is good. that friend's coming back home with me for the friend tomorrow. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes, number one. Right, so do you want me to bring well, that Well, you are there. So we've got Andrew's, okay, no card, problem. Andrew's card that he made uh, this morning in oh, uh, Colour Me well. Happy. Number one, and your box is number two for Demo of the Day. Okay, yep. So number one or number two for Demo Lovely. of the Day. A few minutes on that one, guys. Very good. Right then, so we're just talking about uh, these wonderful dyes and we're talking about these wonderful water uh, colours, these aqua tri blend pens. Again, tri colour pens, a brilliant collection. Try, oh, they are. That's honestly, they're beautiful. And if you love doing things with, I mean, for me, the wild flower element I just love about this. Uh, you've got three different uh, designs in here, but they've all jam packed full of the most gorgeous wildflowers. I love them. I think they're fabulous. Uh, I think that you can use these for all sorts of um, decorations on cards. Um, I've got a pile inside of me already cut out and coloured because I can't stop playing with these. These are just absolutely fantastic. That is your bumblebee paradise. Then you've got the lovely scent of summer. And I'll just turn those around so you can see someone's been using those. Uh, the scent of summer. Um, oh, what are they like? Chuck those down there, they'll be fine. Um, and then I get... <coughs> 
Oh dear, messy, de messy devils. Who well, shall we blame for this one? Craig, I think I genuinely was think it, Craig? it was Craig. I think it you was You genuinely Craig. thought it was Craig? Right, okay, we'll blame Craig. Uh, but again, you've got all these beautiful florals and you can really, really go to town with them. I'm just going to cut a few up and I am going to cut a few up onto some watercolour cardstock just for a second. But I'm thinking, you know, all of the things that... Um, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, because we've got to do demo of the week know, as well, haven't we? Have, oh, we? I'm so sorry. Do you know, you should have told me to shut up. Well, I do, but you don't listen. Well, you told oh, me to shut up back. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Were you actually, Debbie, a joke inside? This has been a very interesting masterclass. A masterclass within a. It, it's, it's been more about mixed media, you know, more than mixed media. It's been about an education today. Oh, thank you. Well, you're very welcome. You but, uh, normally, I should have just said, shut up, Debbie, we've got things to do. Um, because uh, we still have a job to do. I'm just putting a few on there, George, yeah. um, and I'm just going to run those through. These are perfect fit through things of your smaller machines as well. So you've got your smaller machines that these will fit through, i.e. your um, fabulous mini. Uh, your mini, your Gemini. I got, and you've changed it. I have. I've gone smaller. I thought I'd go smaller for my last demonstration. I said smaller. This is my... This is my beast. I use it all the time. I use my big machine. Although I can't call it the big machine anymore because it's not the big machine anymore. There is a bigger daddy in the house. Uh, but yeah, that's the I one I got use a name. I have got a name. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. What are you like? Right, I've got a winner of demo of the show. Okay. Number two. So, sorry, Andrew. Debbie, Debbie won. Oh, bless. Debbie and won. And I loved Andrews. I thought Andrews was absolutely good. gorgeous. Right, let's get down on the week, guys. All right, you'll be I doing that you while well. I'm the putting some flowers right. out. It's butterflies versus uh, bees, right? So, the vintage butterfly collection. Debbie, Robins, uh, Debbie Robinson, that was you on Monday on the launch of that brand new vintage butterfly collection. That's number one. Uh, number two is uh, the other Debbie, Debbie Fisher, with the vintage butterfly collection. You might see a theme appealing here. Uh, number three was Craig on Wednesday. That is there. Let me just make some room for everything that's coming here. Uh, that's number three. Number four, I think, was Craig again. Yeah, that's Craig. That's a Craig. And I know it's Craig because he never puts his name on the back of his blinking cards. <laughs> that's why I know it's Craig's, which always makes my life a little bit easier. Uh, that's Craig's card. Uh, number five is... Craig's with Vintage Butterfly. Oh, gorgeous. So there's three Vintage Butterflies here. Now we're getting into the bees. Number six was yesterday, you, Debbie Robinson, with the Dreamies collection, that MDF 3D honey pot. And number seven was Debbie Robinson with the butterflies on this wonderful trinket box. So let me remind you, so number seven is Debbie Robinson. Number six is Debbie Robinson. Number five is Craig with Vintage Butterfly. Number four is Craig with the flowers. Number three is Craig. Number two is Debbie Fishmeister. And number three, one is Debbie Robinson with the Vintage Butterfly Collection. Guys, you, it could be Debbie or Craig on this one. Well, it's going to be a Debbie or a Craig. Absolutely. Regardless. <laughs> yeah, it's so Debbie's have in there a as few well. minutes on that, guys. Good luck. Don't know which you, I know who I'd vote for, but who would you vote for? Do you know what? I think this is possibly one of the toughest weeks because that is a right array of gorgeousness and yeah. I wouldn't want to choose, so uh, good luck. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Uh, now, I'm going to bring in our lovely uh, tricolour aquas. Um, I love the tricolour aquas. You've got three colours. They've all been specifically designed uh, in like colour families to work together um, and they're just absolutely beautiful. Your choice that you've got is none because you're getting everything, including some watercolour cardstock, which for me gives you the premium, most optimum uh, finish and feel when you're using a water-based product like our Tricolor Aquas. So this particular one that I'm using is a, the um, con uh, get right Com complimentary. Oh, God. Complimentary. Is that right? Yeah. Complimentary. Say it smaller, <laughs> say it slower. It'll be fine. Um, and the thing about these is, I'm going to use my sparkle pen with this one because I wanted to give them a little bit of a sparkle, but they're water-based. You can use your water brush. Um, I know Andrew did a technique earlier where you could do that. Uh, you can pop it straight directly onto your glass mat or directly straight onto your cardstock. It's entirely up to you. I'll do a bit of both so you can see the difference. I'll go on with my water. Uh, water. Debbie. With your tricolour aqua. And then I've got a clear overlay pen because it literally is a water brush that I'm going to mix up 
and then just add. And it, again, you can create all sorts of different techniques from going on directly, and I'll just do it there just at the end because I've already got some on, and then just literally washing that colour out. Um, you can have them as strong as you want, go back in. So I can go back in, I can pick back up, and I can go in and get that shade and dimension going when it comes to um, your use of these beautiful uh, sparkle pens. They're absolutely, honestly, it's sparkle pens. <sighs> Andrew, what are they again? Tricolor Aquas, thank you very much. <laughs> so again, um, loads of different <laughs> ways you can use. Popping it straight on there and then taking your brush and moving that colour out and mixing the colours up. That's Because that's another thing you can do, yeah. George. You can mix colours up. Show a little bit of a purple oh, and let's orange do it. going off. Why not? The purple. Why not? Uh, the very forgiving tricolour aquas, with them being from the a water-based product, it means it gives you um, lots of scope to be able to play with. Um, Andrew showed you and watched through some uh, lovely backgrounds as well that you could create. I'm just using the minimum, minimal amount and mixing two colours there because that's exactly what you can do with them. Um, like I said, you can directly go on with your colour as well, George, if you wanted to. Yes. Let's go on because you get a different look when you go directly on. Um, they're very juicy. and uh, Andrew will tell you the same thing. They're very, very juicy pens. Um, and again, whether you use them with water to, to give you them watercolour effects, you can go straight on and look how gorgeous that looks. I'm yeah. going to let that dry. Let's push that to one side. Andrew did them. ask earlier, went, can we say juicy? Yeah, we can say juicy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can use juicy uh, as a word. But you can uh, pop that onto there and then colour them all in. Uh, because we are now literally running out of time, George, mm. um, I'll show you the ones that I've um, made prior to the show. Um, ooh, just laid it on top of that background. I'm laid thinking, it oh on top gosh. to me. You what, darling? Sorry, I've got... S Are you Club singing again? S Club 7. Always singing. It turns everything into a song. Always singing. And there's a strange noise in my ear, and I'm not sure who it is. Did who it, is everybody okay in there? <laughs> they oh, do you know, I, I literally... I could hear a noise, and I was uh, slightly worried about them. I was like, just making sure you guys are okay in the gallery. Oh, bless you. I know, Georgina, quiet. What? <laughs> now, when I say oh, that I don't wow. know when to stop, um, I don't know when to stop. Um, this has used all of the aqua colours, some in the nature in the nature form, as in with the tricolour aqua, some using what I just showed you with a clear overlay pen. Uh, and I mean, I, I did say that I just don't know when to stop. Can I just bring them all Look in? In fact, I might as well just bring them all in and show you. I don't know when to stop. Um, I just carry on cutting. I carry on colouring. I cut, oh, honestly, because they're just absolutely beautiful. This is when you can start to do a little bit of flower arranging as well, if you want to do a little bit of flower arranging. Not that I'm very good at flower arranging, so I'm not going to pretend that I can do it, because I can't. I'm absolutely rubbish at it. But again, you can create some really beautiful pieces. Now, I was going to uh, do a little bit of a home decor piece with my little... Um, Wall, I'm saying wall hanger, it's a door hanger. Um, and I just coated it with a bit of a, a, a paste at the back there again. This one was with a cosmic shimmer. Do you know those uh, shimmer pastes? That's mm. all I did with that one. Uh, and I was going to use one of our stencils. And since somebody asked, I'm going to do it very, very quickly, uh, where I'm going to use some oh, texture paste over the top of this beautiful, gorgeous... Very um, nice. And I might have to finish this at home and maybe do a little bit of a Facebook Live. Uh, but I'm just going to use it over the top. It's like spreading butter on toast, our jam would describe it. Yeah. And that's exactly how you use it. And I'm just using a slight element just onto there. Ooh, and I've got a palette knife. You'll find the palette knives on yeah. there. But when I lift that up, you've got that gorgeous wow. texture. Great. Looks absolutely beautiful. I'll just use another little snippet just down here because this was my planned demo using this beautiful stencil with with those gorgeous florals uh, but i'll finish it off and i'll post it on my facebook page yeah because i've got a bit of time now uh well guys we've got a demo of the week number five craig with his village butterfly collection uh, that was number winner of the week uh with 
in uh, made on Friday, so I had to start onto the sheet earlier. Guys, that is it for us today. As uh, you know, it usually on a oh, on a show here on Crafters TV, it's the HSM preview. Sarah and Craig are going to be here a little bit later on, uh, getting you guys over in the states ready for everything HSN. Don't forget though, that we've got our, like we said earlier, we've got a backlog of catalog of shows, so you can come back and watch whatever you want, maybe favourite shows, maybe all the colour me happies, uh, loads of great things for you. Don't forget as well, till midnight tomorrow, you've got 20% off your selected storage, getting you ready for that spring cleaning time. Uh, head to the website, you'll find out more. And while you're there, you'll see our brand new schedule launching tomorrow. I'm going to be here with you tomorrow morning, yes, for our brand new schedule, 10 a.m here in the UK, 5 a.m. over on the East Coast, 2 a.m. Pacific time for three hours of wake up call and craft chat and create. It's gonna be me and Craig with you tomorrow uh, morning launching that brand new schedule, three hours worth of crafting. That is the only thing that's changing to be fair with you. And then in the afternoon, 2 p.m. here in the UK, 9 a.m. East Coast, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, we have got our wonderful masterclass. It's a stamping 101 uh, with me and Joe. We'll be switching halfway through with Michelle as well. And then wrapping up your day tomorrow at the usual time of 6 p.m., 1 p.m. and 10 a.m. is of course our wonderful Monday makers. Lisa Horton's gonna be here as well tomorrow. Yes, she is. Very exciting, so make sure you're sticking around for that. Uh, Debbie, how are you getting over there with your butter and your toast? Well, I'm toast. I'm enjoying myself, and uh, I'm going to enjoy myself because I'm going to take it home with me, and I'm going to finish it off at home, but uh, absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to just flower arrange it with Lovely. all the flowers uh, and pop those on there. Perfect. But, yeah, I've had an absolute blast. I'm not going to see you, though, guys, for uh, a week or so because I'm off for the week and I'm going to enjoy my time off so I will leave you all in the capable hands of everybody else because uh, we've got some amazing things lined up, amazing launches, amazing guests, it's going to be fab. I will see you when you come back my lovely, have a great break, I'll see you tomorrow like I said for that brand new earlier, uh, later time shall I say of Wake Up Call and Craft Chat and Create, don't forget a couple of hours time it's the HSN preview with uh, the wonderful Craig and Sarah here getting you ready for that HSN, I'll see you tomorrow, earlier, later time tomorrow, oh, it's going to be busy, I can't wait to see you then, take care for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.